Nitwit's footage. <laughs> There's Mr. Nitwit. Uh, what do we know him as now? My wild coyote tamer. Um, I don't know. I guess we could know him as a lot of things. Anyway, we're headed down to Leslie's and look at what we're bringing. Some of our bugs. I mean wood. Firewood for her. And my big bag. So, yeehaw. So, this be an additional hour and 15 minutes to the podcast so you guys can be with me the whole way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're podcasting we're recording no, it feels like forever it's oh my been gosh. forever like three weeks three at or four. least oh my gosh we've got Crazy. a lot to get through <laughs> yes i know and i feel like like we haven't podcasted in three weeks and then i feel like my knitting is so like bleh, oh. that it's just like i just feel so discombobulated you do that's the word well i'm here I, to help thank you i'm here to get you, you back i on just track. had to like gather all my knitting and it was yeah. like stressing me out last night i didn't get to bed till super late and so then I told Bob, set the alarm for like 8 this morning because oh Michelle dear. was coming at around 10. Now it's almost 11. And I was like, I feel like I have to get all my crap gathered from around the house. And like, I just, I don't know. It's like felt overwhelmed. Well, see, bit, that's but. another silver lining to living in just a little space that I'm in right yes. now is all my stuff's just right there. That's true. <laughs> that's true. There's something to be said for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was trying to think how long it's been. Michael was actually asking, well, how long has it been since you guys did this? I'm like, Pff. I mean, I don't even know. Well, it's I've watched forever. the kids for two weeks now, and it was before I watched the yeah. kids. So I think it's at least been, at it's least been three, three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Well, we both got sick. Yes. And um, different kind of illnesses. Yes. You pretty much had the flu, you think? I, oh, whatever it is that makes you... And the thing is, okay, I won't get too graphic. But yes, you will. Of course no. I will. <laughs> Because everyone wants to know. I'll leave colors out of it. But <laughs> and pictures. Definitely no pictures. <laughs> Let me just say, I didn't drink coffee or knit for like three or four days. That's crazy. So that you tells you yeah. that it was the worst gastrointestinal illness I've ever had. Wow. Um, That's insane. It was. It was like I was throwing up so much, but like nothing was there. Yeah. But the contractions in the stomach were still wow. happening. So that like days after the last throwing up episodes mm -hmm. i couldn't even blow my nose without having a lot of pain oh. in here just i mean it was so you did an ab workout like you worked your abs well no wonder it hurts so yeah. much <laughs> you should have a six pack now <laughs> maybe if i'd been in better shape <laughs> actually i mean it did occur oh, to me man. like it does sometimes when you get really sick that i may not have gotten so sick if i had been nourishing myself oh. more leading up to that point yeah, you know yeah. not eating junk food and stuff yeah. cuz I mean, it does matter. Well, I feel like every Halloween, like shortly after Halloween, I get sick. Really? I think it's because of the sugars, you mm -hmm. know, candies oh. and stuff, and just your immune system gets lowered. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm a health, not the right, you know, all the other time. <laughs> all the, the other time of the year, I'm really good. <laughs> just but. Halloween. But I just feel like maybe it's an influx of extra sugar. Maybe. And then, and I didn't eat a ton, but I went out trick-or-treating with Ev, mm -hmm. and, you know, of Fun. course, had a couple pieces and stuff, which I normally do That's don't. right. It hadn't even been Halloween yet when we did this. No. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's like... Happened. Yeah. You, it's November 17th or something. I know. So, it's I mean, it's almost Thanksgiving. It's insane. And yeah. then somebody was saying the other day, I think on a podcast I was watching, that, you know, Thanksgiving is like a week later this year. And yeah. so Christmas is like three weeks after Thanksgiving. And I was like, I haven't even shopped. I oh. haven't even thought about shopping. Me neither. It's just, cr I feel like it's going to be here it before is. we know it. It always is. I mean, it's... The only thing... I've done your guys' advent calendars, yeah. and I ordered my grandson a Lego coffee cup. Oh, I mean, cute. he's not going to drink coffee out of it, but... Okay. Hot cocoa. Whatever. <laughs> milk. Yeah. Chocolate milk. He loves chocolate go. milk. There you go. Uh, but you can, like, attach Legos and stuff to How it. fun. It's cool. Oh, that's it's cool. different. Where'd you get it from? Um, well, I saw it on my Instagram feed. Okay. But then, whenever I see something cool on my Instagram feed, mm -hmm. I go to Amazon oh, yeah. and find it, because yeah. it's cheaper. For sure. For sure. So, I... I have to do that oh yeah it's Ev. yeah i think he'd like that and we're not gonna like these kids have so many yes. toys i'd actually feel guilty buying more crap to put in know, their house I know. you know yeah. it's like it's insane yes and plus anytime we spend money mm -hmm. on it we never see them play with anything right. because right. they've got too right. much so you don't want to be the grandparents that don't get the kids anything right but on the other hand you know, know, we're on a retiree's yeah. income now. Right. And well, and I struggle with, like, my sister, her boyfriend, who is Magnolia's father, 
he had three kids from a previous marriage. And so I feel, oh. I struggle because I don't know them super duper well, like yeah. their likes and dislikes and stuff. So I feel like, what do I, but yet I know what Ev loves and I know what Magnolia yes. could use. And you can't baby, not do anything. But I can't not, but I don't know what to yes. do because one's a teenager oh, and then the two boys are younger. I just, but yeah, you want to get them something they're going to like, but I have no, I don't know them well. Yeah. I mean, obviously I can ask their dad and stuff and find out, but but yeah, I just feel like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what to get them. So I love <clears throat> gift giving, but I have too. to admit I'm stressed out about it at this yeah, point just because yeah. it's like a whole nother cycle of figuring it all yes. out, getting it done. Making it special because yes. you don't want it to just be exactly. whatever. Yeah, you want it and, to mean something. And it's, yeah, you guys understand. It's mm -hmm. so much easier to shop for ourselves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what Bob and I always do. He's like, just go buy whatever you want. Yeah. I'm going to go buy what I want. I'm like, yeah. thank you. It awesome. works better that way. Because I know I like but yeah. I, on the other hand I love getting surprises I know you know I know it's a struggle and it's really it's fun when people pick things out for you yes yeah oh it's so fun yeah so fun yeah. and since we're talking about gift giving um I was gifted an advent calendar yes. a yarn advent calendar from a, yes. a friend yes. and you know who you are thank yeah. you so much so I'll be showing mm -hmm. that one because I don't start opening those till December 1st yes. and then I only open one a day. I know, I know. And I'm going to do that this year. <laughs> can I show mine? Oh, you can so if Michelle you want. Michelle gave me mine, which she's silly for giving it to me early. I know, but I didn't I know. I didn't know if I'd see her before December 1st. <gasps> I hope so. Well, but it's only like I know, not that far away. Weeks away. So aren't they the cutest? They're really cute. The cutest thing, the little bags with the number. And the I, you know what I love are the little, um, Clothespins. Yes, they're, they're adorable. So they're so cute. But I got this packaging at Michael's. Oh my gosh. That's like amazing. they're making it. So the first year that I did these for so these cute. guys, this is only the third year, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. The first year, it was like, I mean, it was kind of a pain. Yeah, it was work. Trying to figure out how to do all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then kind of as time goes by, well, now they've got these oh, yeah. things with the little envelopes and the so little clips. So much easier. And, yeah, they make it oh so easy. Oh, my gosh. It's um, so cute. So, yeah. I can't wait. So I'm going to have to put it somewhere and hide it until. Should I give it to Bob? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I maybe. should have just told Michael, <laughs> leave it in the truck. That's and, right. That's right. Yeah. So Michael and I came <clears throat> down. We brought some. W mm -hmm. Well, actually, I've inserted a video, a little video. Oh, nice. For to, your road trip? For the, the road trip. Nice, yes. So nice. they can, you know. It's only an hour and 15 minutes. Yes. Traffic wasn't bad. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so Bob and, and Michael are out there unloading wood, having some male bonding time. Yes. So Michael yes. probably doesn't get around many men, does he? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does he need that? I, I don't know. <laughs> that question totally stumped me. I don't know. Do you know how girls are? I'm it's like the manliest man. I mean, woman, the manliest um, woman. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, so they're having fun. Yeah. So, and also speaking of gifts, mm -hmm. Darlene Bags by Awesome Granny oh, sent us yes. her new. Oh my gosh, that that's is for huge. you. I know it's the new sweater size. Wow. Oh my gosh, Michelle sent me a picture and I had no idea. That is, I know, it's so, so it's huge. huge. And I'll demonstrate how big it is because I have the one she sent me. Oh my gosh, thank totally you, Totally packed with all our barnyard knits. Wow. And, um, and oh, I will yeah. mention that she has... I saw on her Instagram you that her... No, it was like a not yawn. It was just a... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it was a take a breath so you don't wow. yawn. Okay. Because See, Leslie will works. call me out. <laughs> but I did anyway. <laughs> exactly. I can't win with you, woman. <laughs> breathe deep. Okay, I breathe deep. But now your ass right still <laughs> catches me. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, darling. That is so cute. I love the gnomes. They're so festive. They're adorable. Um, oh her, she has uh, in her Etsy. <clears throat> no, is it Etsy still? She's still Etsy. Yes, I think so. Yes. Whatever she yes. I'm pretty sure it's still Etsy. Uh, no coupon code needed. She's got nice. everything's on sale oh, right wow. now. So. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, what a great deal. Well, look at that. So cute. I mean, where do oh you guys gosh. see everything I pull out of this thing? That's insane. But aren't they cute? There's like yes. little, um, whatever you call those narwhal? things. Narwhal? Yeah, narwhal. narwhal. Yeah. Yeah. In scarves. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, they're so, so cute. cute. So cute. Um, oh my gosh. These are adorable. <laughs> they're cute. I cannot wait but, to put, I can I mean, fit all my projects. <laughs> you totally could because I had, you would not believe what I have in this Which bed. Which that's actually brilliant because if I, well, I don't go many places with my knitting, but if I do, if you did, yeah. If I went to go you visit you all. or something, it'd yes. be nice to put everything in here instead of multiple bags of tons of projects. Exactly. That is huge. It's major. Man, that is awesome. 
So we're just going to start pulling exactly. stuff out. Yes, pull the stuff bar out. This is the Barnyard Nuts Parade. All right, all right. Uh, <coughs> so we hope you guys had a good Halloween. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, speaking of Barnyard Nuts, we had been talking about Halloween, and she sent me, Kim sent me a picture of her kids in their costume mm -hmm. and like at their school or something I said that just reminds me of when I was in grade school yeah. we had on Halloween or whatever day was you know closest to Halloween mm -hmm. we'd all wear our costumes to school and there'd be a parade Aww, through the fun. Through, through the, the halls of the um, school well yeah it was more outdoors okay, but um, right. out in the playground mm -hmm. playground's the word I was fun. looking for so that's cool um very I was Casper, the friendly ghost. Were the you? year that I actually remember doing I that, remember. I was Casper. So. Anyway, here's my Land of Sweets. So cute. Cal by Helen Stewart. Yes. This was using um, the like, DK Weight. Yeah, was there fall autumn, or autumn? Yeah, fall mini minis. set. Mm -hmm. And so here, you hang on to that because I'm going to show. So mm -hmm. Carrie, the so Creative cute. Obsession, did that same pattern using... The oh, fingering yeah. weight, fingering weight version of the um, succulents. Oh right, with the succulents. Uh, and minis. so this is the one that <coughs> she did for Kim, and I'm gonna send mine to Kim as well, just so she, and then she can send it back to me. But anyway, just so you can see so kind of the difference cute. in size. It's yeah. not. I mean, actually, uh, Carrie's is longer. Yeah. I could have blocked mine more aggressively. Yeah. I really. I'm not in much of a good blocking yeah. scenario right yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah. I wash it. That's You're blocking it. challenged right I'm, now. I'm very yes, blocking yes, challenged. Yes. <laughs> but uh, that's awesome. I do like that this one's lighter. Yeah. This, this is one though warm. is bigger. Uh, it's not as scrunched up on okay. your neck. So I mean, I kind of interesting, like that. but it probably has more form. Maybe you know what I mean. Whereas yeah. that's going to be more drapey. This yeah. is going to be a little yeah, bit stiffer. Yeah, probably so. Which I'd probably like that. Yeah, well. Because when I did mine, I did mine with mohair. And I liked oh, right, that just because right. it made it a little bit bulkier even and more, more, yeah, stiffer. I'm really yeah. excited to get these sent to Kim. Yes. Just because, yes. you know, it's just been like, I feel like, well, we've talked yes. about it. But you just feel like you have something of someone else's. Right, And right, you want right. to get it to exactly, them. Exactly, exactly. Well, and every time I hear podcasts talk about Vogue Knitting Live coming, I'm like, oh, they've got to get there <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so she can take them. Exactly. Uh, so here is the fading point that I did. Beautiful. By Hohe. By Hohe, yes. And, um, beautiful. This is just half of it. Man. So yeah. you can see. It's huge. It's massively yes. huge. It's like, gorgeous. I love those I mean, colors. I don't even know what you do with this. You like, just wrap it around. <laughs> around and yes. around and around. I mean, I can show you my pictures on Instagram from my fading, whatever it was. Uh -huh. It is. You just kind of like, I wrapped it around like my shoulders and stuff. So it's nice because it's really a wrap. It's, you it know, is. it's not necessarily a shawl. You feel more like right. it's a, so, Definitely like, rad. I mean, I don't know that Shoot. there's any point in doing this because we won't be able to see yeah. the whole thing. But just, it's, insane. it's like six, how, I mean, more than six feet long, right? Yeah, I it's mean, taller than, but golly. I'm very uh, pleased with yes. the colors that she oh, chose. They're, they're gorgeous. gorgeous. They're so, I love how it starts and ends with that. Yeah. I love that look. I love that. This is not something I would knit for myself. Yeah. Just, like, I'd totally <clears throat> use these colors and do something else. But right. this long shape i'm too short yeah. i think i mean i just don't even know what i would yeah, do with it i yeah. can't imagine it looking good yeah on me maybe just because yeah. i'm short and i think it would okay i think it would because it's not super i mean it's deep because we, i like it's that. really not but though. it's not too deep i mean i guess you know again I, mean? I think if i could have blocked it more yeah. aggressively <clears throat> so kim when you get this if you want it blocked more aggressively knock yourself out honey yeah yeah i just didn't have anywhere to do no, it same with the sweater i didn't block it super aggressively either because it was supposed to be a size small and i was like when i block yeah. things for myself i stretch the crap out of it because i want it to be as big and loose and all that stuff as i can but um for the size small i didn't want to stretch it too much but yeah i think it's i mean it's plenty big yeah it's plenty big yeah it's amazing i love those colors me too they're so beachy oh totally, totally. and then um again leslie's beautiful zwig yeah. zwig yeah, that zwig. she did yep yep Very fun fun nice. yes and and who caitlin hunter caitlin hunter yep yep yeah and then we have and i think i would knit that for myself but i would definitely pair it with mohair and obviously go up a couple needle sizes make it bigger and bulkier and i love that section of it when i tried it on that lace just was like oh my gosh that's so elegant and yeah. beautiful so yeah that's what sold me honestly once i tried it on and i saw that open lace i was like wow that that's is really gorgeous yeah 
so it's really especially that color <coughs> i love oh, kind of in that beautiful. lighter cream color. yeah it's a gorgeous color so this is the odyssey that lori knit and yes. that's a free hohe pattern oh interesting i didn't know that okay and this is a dk weight as well that's and these beautiful. colors oh my oh, god i love them it's gorgeous so pretty and that's a great size too isn't Man. it awesome that's amazing i love it that's amazing i don't know if we're holding it the right way if you're um, seeing the right side or the wrong side it probably doesn't matter i don't think it matters yeah it's gorgeous it those is. colors are I just love these colors beautiful beautiful oh i love it love it love it love it so i could see doing this one yes maybe to know, no, I totally could. I think it's a great size. And I would do it. I mean, if I was going to do this, I'd probably do oh, yeah. it in these colors. Oh, me too. I love them. It's, they're gorgeous. They are. They're, they're awesome. They're so pretty. Good job, Lori. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. So fun. And then I know in... I cannot believe you, you have fit all those projects I in that bag. <laughs> these a are sweater, all coming out. two cowls, a huge shawl. Huge a shawl. Big, another big shawl. And then, wait, but wait, <laughs> there's, there's more. more. <laughs> Uh, my Kobuk hat. Oh, cute! Because these things I'm sending, <coughs> and I'll get them back afterwards. Yeah. But yeah. these are all these are things that I used Fun. barnyard knits in, oh, so yeah. she can at least have oh, them. Oh yeah, perfect. She, I think she's going to have two booths. She said nice. so. The more oh, the better. Perfect, perfect. And then my um, oh, girl's yes. best friend. I love that shawl. I do too. It's probably one beautiful. of my very favorites. Yeah, I never wear mine, but I love oh, it. Yeah. I don't know why. I need to put Me it on that's a go those are gorgeous colors oh my goodness so, beautiful yeah they're all barnyard so so pretty i love this color combo i, See, do I think i would wear it more if i had this color combo i do love this one it's gorgeous i love it so pretty i love the mustard with the navy i and do this too is such a great it's a man great, that yes. just makes it all come together Again, it just reminds me of the ocean. Totally. So. Totally. And sand. Yep. Yeah. I don't like sand, per se, okay. like yeah. on me. Yeah. But I do like Certain parts of your body. Yeah. Any part. I really any just part, don't, don't like, like sand. the feeling right. of sand. <laughs> but I love how it Give looks. Give me the ocean with and no I, sand. Exactly. <laughs> Can I just have concrete? Wasn't well, there some beaches in the world that it's more like pebbles on the beach? True. And not sandy, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a world traveler. Me either. I have no <laughs> idea what I speak of, but I think that's a thing. Yeah. And polka dots. I love oh, it so cool. but yeah this is this is that super is amazing amazing it's just a bag that keeps on keeps on going and i felt you know good about putting all this stuff in here because i bring that big wicker yes. basket and i didn't want anything snagging oh completely so, so yeah well, they'll be nice and safe totally in here yes that's amazing you still have room for more i could fit more you could fit a project in there <laughs> i too. could totally fit wow <laughs> Wow. I don't want to get the zipper caught in anything right. either. So. <coughs> yes. But yeah, and That's not only amazing. that, but it could totally be a pillow. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you needed a pillow. That is so true. So, so if you're traveling, traveling on an airplane. You're, just oh don't gosh. have your needles pointed as such that they That's poke true. through and, That's, you know. Yeah, kill yourself. Kill yeah, you, but yeah. we don't want that. So. For sure. That is so yeah. awesome. Thank you so much, darling. That's amazing. Now I've just gone, ah, blah, 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 blah. So now it's okay. your turn. That's all right. <laughs> Let's see right. what you got. Well, <coughs> is that the cup that Lori gave you for your birthday? Yeah, I love it. Yes, yes. It's I so love it too. pretty. I think it's so cute. I love it. Love it, love it. Thank Very you, nice. Lori. Lori, Carrie, and Michelle, and dear sweet Angelique spoiled me rotten for my birthday. So I don't have anything out that they got me except for this. Well, Angelique got me this sweater. Oh, I like it. Which I love. Nice it. job. It's super comfy. And can I pet you? Comfy. Yes, you can pet me. She knows I love. It's funny. I uh, oh my gosh. So I have a, like a garden tub in my bathroom, our master bathroom, and it's full of hand knit sweaters right now because oh. I've been wearing them when I, I, I watch I Magnolia. Mine I need mine washed. <laughs> well, I have no wool wash, which you keep forgetting. <laughs> Send Michael home. <laughs> so to go get it. I need to just send you something. I like, can't order you something oh and have it delivered. Gosh. I can't believe I no, forgot that No, I've been meaning to get to the knit shop no, every day, I but I'm so busy. Oh, my gosh. But it's just crazy because now that I watch Magnolia, she is a spitter upper. Like, oh. you can tell. She burps, and then there's going to be vomit coming. I mean, oh. you know, spit mm, up. Nice. Yes. So all of my hand-knit sweaters that I've been wearing, stupidly, have gotten child, you know, yeah. Spit up on Spit them. Spit up on them. <laughs> so they're all in my tub waiting to be washed. And yeah. So Bob was like, why are your sweaters in the tub? <laughs> <laughs> like, because I'm just going to wash them probably all together. They've all been washed before, so I'm not worried about I'm really sorry. I forgot that. It's okay. It's totally no, really. Your sweaters are marinating in vomit. <laughs> I feel really bad that I the house is starting to smell. No, yeah, it's totally cool. fine. It's totally fine. But I need to wash them. I don't you don't know have any teft woolens, bars, or anything? Yes, I do. Yes. And all my project drawings. 
<laughs> Remember, because I use them to smell up my knitting and smell my... So yes. here's an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it out there. Yeah. <laughs> you could use... Sex. You could. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Such a brilliant idea. Yeah. Uh, Told you I was here to help. And you are, because I hadn't even thought of it. <laughs> okay, good. And yet they're in all my bags. Because I don't um, use them. I just I love, love how they smell up my knitting. I so know. it's ridiculous. But yes, I could totally do that. And I please do. I will do yes. that. Because I need to get them washed. So <clears throat> this sweater is crazy because fabulous. it's my um Millie, yes, it's my Millie sweater. Did I even know you were knitting this? Oh yeah, I've oh, been okay. knitting on it for a while. Okay. This is the one where I took barnyard knits and oh, yeah, yeah, all yarn, the, different ones. the different colors I had I and just paired it with mohair. So this sweater's been funny. So I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I just have, I'm on the um, ribbing down here. I have to do four inches of it and then bind off. Okay. And then I just have to do the sleeves. So then I'll be done. Mm. So I love it. The thing yeah. is, I you know how I ran out of mohair. So oh, I right, went and right, ordered right. some oh, stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the only problem is this stuff is super fluffy. Super, fl it's a actually oh. bulky weight. Okay. Which I didn't realize. Oh, really? It's a bulky weight mohair. What? A bulky weight it's mohair? It's alpaca. But those, and alpaca. those strands don't look super big. They're, they're big. They're pretty, it, it's the fluff. That's what it is okay. because, um, I did have, I have a ball out there that's actually open. It's very hairy, <laughs> very. I mean, like okay. that's, it, you see how long the hairs are? Uh, the hairs are like long. super duper long. So what I did was at first I was like, cool, I'm gonna use it. So I used it for a couple rows. Okay. Didn't rip it out. Oh. So these couple cool. rows. Yeah. I thought I could trim it if I need to. <laughs> I'll just cut those long, <laughs> long hairs. But you I can't mean, really tell. We don't like to shave our legs, but if I we got to do the exactly. sweater, we'll do I will the sweater. shave. I will shave my sweater. So then I was like, "Crap, that's too big." Okay. So then what Michelle said was to use Autumn Acorn. Yes. Her lovely mohair that she sent me. So I, I have, and you can't tell. It oh, looks good. amazing. So. So mm. Michelle had another good idea. I'm just so brilliant. I'm I know just you're now, full. You're full of ideas. <laughs> So I'm finishing, I'm doing the awesome. ribbing down here with just finishing up that barnyard knits color okay. with that mohair. And then the sleeves, okay, these are my idea. Well, oh, yeah, I can't wait to hear what you're gonna well, do. Well, I just, just, I just in my head realized it's not gonna work. Oh. So what I was thinking was I was like, why not I take oh. this bulky. Hold it double? Uh, hold it double or single. It's pretty, oh. it's pretty fluffy and do the sleeves in that. But these are kind of dropped sleeves a little bit, so yeah. I think it'll be weird having this to here and then all of a sudden this. So I have another skein of this, full skein of oh, Barnyard okay. Knit. So I'm just going to do the sleeves in okay. those two. So, all right. So I feel like it's been a hodgepodge sweater. It's but it doesn't look hodgepodge. I hope not. No, it looks great. Although I'm kind of like I don't even care at this point. No, I because love I know it. I'll love it and I'll still wear it. Yeah. And so it's, it's uh, it's pretty. And I doesn't it feel good to go through that much yarn from your it stash? Does. Yes. Yeah. No, it's cool to think that I knit a sweater with stuff that was already in my. I didn't have to yeah. spend money. Yeah. I mean, I did buy the uh, so many skeins of this. But you can't use. But I just found a sweater online, a cardigan that calls for bulky weight. Stuff oh, like this. So nice. I'm going to do that with this. So I, it's not a waste. Cool. It'll, I'll, it's never I'll a waste. It. It's never a waste because no. I love it. It's beautiful and it's very fluffy. So anyway, that's my Millie okay. that I'm working on. And I thought that's for sure, right. I remember now Millie because of Carrie's dog Millie. Yes. And I think this normally <clears throat> just calls for fingering weight yarn. So it doesn't even call for the mohair. Uh, mohair. So it's going to be big, oversized bulky nice. really cute but i love it <clears throat> i do too yeah it's very so nice that's looking the millie cool yeah um and it's funny because now that i've been watching the kids the last two weeks knitting has like not even happened <laughs> i keep bringing it with me every day i pack like my lunch and oh I, right because you're going there yeah i'm going yes, there i'm watching right. them at my sister's house okay which works out well because all their toys are there and all their stuff's there but um so i bring my knitting with me every day and i think i've knit maybe one day out of the two weeks so it's do they nap at the same time or is that not no ev out? doesn't nap oh, at all dear. anymore oh, but dear. he has preschool three days a week okay um fridays when he's at preschool sorry i feel like i have to like clear my nose fridays when he's at preschool she usually takes a pretty good nap while i'm at the house so i could knit 
But usually at that point, I'm just like, I'm just playing on my phone or doing stupid stuff. And then before well, I know, sometimes it's you got to take a break. I from, know, but it's yeah. like I miss my knitting. Yeah, you need to get knitting. Yeah, and then there's a couple projects that I have that I need to go get more yarn, but I've had no time oh. to get to the knit shop. So this week, I'm hoping. You know, they deliver. I know. <laughs> Another so brilliant. I she's way the hell out there. there. So I mean, of course, even when I didn't live way out there, it was still like no. That's brilliant. I mean, I should just do that. I mean, if you know what you're getting, if I you're, do, I if, do. You know, yeah, I know what I need and what I need to get. Does is it something Twisted has? Oh yeah, I have to go to Twisted and Starlight because Twisted thirty five dollars or more free shipping. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. PSA. That's true. But I love just going to knit shops. Of course. Anyway. It's fun to go. And I get off. I work. Um, I get to my sister's house at 6 a.m. And I work only till 2.30, though. Oh, okay. So I like that. Um, oh, that is she nice. She was able to change her schedule at work oh, good. and get so to work. Oh, good. So you have some time. Yes. That's very yes. nice. So when I get off at 2.30, it's like I feel like I still have... Some Bob time. doesn't get home till like 5 30. Yeah. So I feel like I have several Freedom. hours where I can do something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so, awesome. I mean, I can get to the knit shop. I just have not made it okay. a serious priority. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, what else are you working on? Well, I, I finished my full of minis hat. Cute. I saw that. Yes. Yes. I had to <clears throat> post it because yes. I love it. The pom pom's really tiny. I totally <laughs> did the tiny. Okay. <laughs> I, I went back and forth. Do I want a pom pom? Because. Okay. Yeah. You know, like this hat has got a lot going on. It does. It does. And mm -hmm. so I didn't want it to not have any pom-pom. Okay. Because like a big pom-pom with all these colors to me, for me, right. was just not. Even if it's a solid color, that kind of grounds it a little bit? Maybe. Okay. Um, okay. And then, you know, of course I thought, well, I could do furry one. But it just, and yeah. then I thought, well, what about just a tiny little. So I even, I bought more pom-pom mm -hmm. makers because I don't know where my pom-pom yeah. makers are. Yeah. And I thought, well, I don't want it to look like a little nipple. <laughs> I know you know. Does. So I did it. Now that you mention it. Right. I did it with the um, option that I can always take it off. Okay. So I wasn't sure. I I knew that I didn't I didn't think I wanted a big huge multicolor one. No, I would think it would just be like a black or something. Black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just something really ground it. Like one of those fluffy black ones. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, this <coughs> might have to go. <laughs> well, I'd have to see it on. It's just well, at I mean, first glance. You I'm guys noticed like, something different with my hair. Oh my gosh! <laughs> when she walked in, I was like, "Your hair has grown like feet." <laughs> it's, it but she's straightened. You never know it's because crazy. when it's curly, it's like a lot shorter. Yeah, it's crazy how much that springs it. Back I don't up. know why I wanted. I just felt like straightening yeah, my hair today. Yeah. Why not? Fun. Why not? Have fun. <clears throat> the hat will be looser now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. You don't have all those curls. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't see, so I don't cute. know how it looks. Cute. It's cute. I mean, I don't see the pom-pom like from, from right on. No, you have to see it from behind. Yeah, you'd have to see it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I should put my glasses on so I can see what it oh, looks yes, like. Oh, yes, yes. Looks great with your straight long hair, though. Sorry, guys. But it's yeah. Like yeah. It's cute. Yeah, I like the hat. Yes. I really do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know about up here because it's kind of like... Yeah. You know, I don't know. Is it supposed well, to Well, I think the or? style now for hats is to wear it like... Up more? Yeah, like... Oh. It's stiff. Like and that? It's kind of weird. Yeah, some people are these days. It's kind of interesting. Well... But you can wear it any way you want. You know? Yeah. I would feel like it was about to fall off. You if, did? No, if I had it like oh, this, you had it? I feel okay. like... It'd be too wobbly. I mean... Yeah. See, oh. there. I did it. <laughs> That was my goal. I just wanted to show that <laughs> it, it's that going to come work off. <laughs> interesting. But interesting. Anyway, so okay. yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure about that, especially now that you've confirmed. Well, I'm sorry. Like. I just I had to say. I just I don't know. To me, it just looks really like when you said nipple. I was like, yep. That's, yep. That's, that's what exactly. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Maybe if I hadn't done pink, <laughs> <laughs> flesh colored. <laughs> Is your flesh that color? <laughs> Sparkly pink boobs. Hey, no wonder you talk about them all the time. <laughs> if my boobs were pink and sparkly, I'd talk about a lot too. <laughs> I wish. That'd be nice. Okay. Um, and then I also finished. So you know what I did? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that a few weeks ago, I took pictures of all my whips. Oh, right. Yes. And then I, ha I made an album on my phone nice. for whips. And it really wow. did help focus me. Nice. like... I don't know. It just reminded me, like that hat. I was yeah. like, I love that hat. Yeah, I need to just totally, finish it. Totally. So that when I finish the things, I just delete the picture. Awesome. Oh, that's so, and so rewarding. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. To feel like <laughs> it's done. Is. I can delete it. Yes. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Um, my Kali Wobble Cute. socks. Four years. Oh my gosh. I cast these on November 15th 
four years ago. That's insane. I know. That is crazy. Those are probably the longest whip Whip. socks ever. So I did, okay, a couple things that was funny. Mm -hmm. So Collie Wobbles uh, by Emily Estrada. Yes. Fibertown. I don't know if she still podcasts or. I think she does, yeah. um, So when I first was doing, it has this, I don't know if you can see the patterning on this guy. I love that pattern. I do too, but. It was, I remember it was kind of like a little bit confusing to me when I was knitting it before. Yeah. yeah. And then when I picked up and finally started doing this one, it was like, this is a piece of cake. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's why they sat for so long because, yeah. you know, subconsciously it was a little bit confusing or something yeah. to me. Yeah. But I did something. Oh, I should not have put that hat on. Uh oh. Now I've got something on me. Uh, what was her podcast name again? I think Fiber Town. Fiber Town. Yes, yes, yes. So I did something really funky with the heel. And so this is kind of funny, but I'm not undoing it because I just don't care. Obviously, they're not gift socks. This heel is proper. Okay. Okay, for another thing, these are top-down socks, which I rarely ever do Mm -hmm. top-down socks. Mm -hmm. And it's not the OMG heel, which is what I'm the most comfortable with. Right. Well, okay. (laughs) Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. Well, design feature. I must have done the decreases at the wrong end. Oh. Like, when you're doing your decreases for your heel after you've done everything. Yeah. Are you supposed to do them up here? Well, see, I always do the afterthought now. Okay. I don't even remember. Like, yeah. I have not done a... Well, that's just it. And I swear, I read those instructions mm-hmm. and I had it, like, I really thought about it because I hadn't done right. this in so long. Right. But obviously, I... I did them wrong i did them on the wrong something because you can see my decreases are down here yeah and they're not supposed to be wow do they fit like amazingly well like maybe no, you just it's kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have this weird line on the back yeah but it's fine i mean like for the purposes of oh, me yeah. and these socks they're fine mm-hmm. i'm happy to have them done mm-hmm. frankly and i never would have noticed it either i mean until you pointed yeah. it out so i just i don't know that's I mean, hilarious I haven't knit on socks a ton anyway, mm-hmm. much less this kind of heel scenario. Right. So oh, that's I'm so assuming funny. that when you're doing your decreases after you do your gusset and mm-hmm. stuff, you're supposed to do them on each side of the top of the foot. Right, right. Um, I think so. And I yeah. believe on the bad one, I did it. Obviously, Whatever. I did it on the wrong, yeah. the wrong part. So yeah. don't do that, rookie. <laughs> Yeah. But four-year-old socks, they're done. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. And they're kind of Christmassy. They're totally they're, Christmassy. Oh, yeah. So. It's, um, the yarn is <laughs> You're a Mean One by Desert Vista Dye Nice. Works, so. Nice. Gosh, I remember when you used to do a sock a month with Desert Vista. I did Vista. her a sock a month. I, if I wow. could do it again, mm-hmm. like, if I didn't have so many other things I wanted it, right. I would, it was fun. Yeah. I loved doing That's that. That's so cool. So if you're so a sock cool. knitter and, you know... Do the she does she's doing it again. Yeah, and I would totally recommend Desert Vista Dye Works. She makes it fun. Mm-hmm. Rewards there's you. Prizes, there's prizes. There's. I mean, it's just it's really mm-hmm. it was really fun. And that's then it fun. was nice to just get those socks done every month. I just yes. felt like that's all. That was well. It's that pressure of mm-hmm. having to get something done. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I would totally do it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe someday I will. But yeah. not right now. I've got too many other things. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, and then I've been working on my t- my blue turtle dove. Oh, yeah. But I was bringing enough, so okay. I I haven't even gotten to the point where I divide for sleeves. Okay. I'm almost there. Okay. So I thought, why bring it? Yeah, yeah. It's just a bunch of blue yarn at this yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all right. You know what though? This yeah. is so sad. What? You know, last time I showed my Chevy Rail. Um, yes. I can't necklace? find it. it well, it's not a necklace. It was a progress keeper. Oh, right. But they you were had pretty it on crystal. your... Yeah. What project did you have it on? I had it on my... Um, the shawl? The big, long... Oh, wow. I can't find it. Oh, my gosh. I am so bummed. Oh. And then she hasn't done a shop update, and so I can't even buy another one. Oh, my gosh. And I know she sells out quick, so I'm, yes. like, stalking her yes. to see... Yes. Because I'm going to have to replace it. Shoot. I'll have to, like, look on the floor. Well, there. I don't think I lost it here. <coughs> it just... You'd think, though, it's a good size. Like, I that you know. would see it. Yeah. But it is kind of white, right? Yeah, kind of. So yeah. it might be harder to see. But And who knows? Like, in two years, it could show up. Totally. It probably will. It probably will. As soon as you buy another one, yeah, and it'll exactly. show up. Then it'll show up. Exactly. Yeah, I'll find it. Well, a little sad note on my... Oh, um, your linen thing. On my disc chain. I don't know how you pronounce it. By Layla Rob T. 
Love this pattern. Love knitting it. Love that color. I do too. It seems like it's looking good. So I'm just not somebody who likes to um, seam. Oh gosh, me piece either. things together. Oh, I hate I it. I suck at it. I do too. And I don't have the patience for it. Me neither. Like I started, I steamed this because you're supposed to steam the pieces before you... Um, Seam them. Seam them together. And so Bob helped me because I don't have a hanger thing for it. So I was just holding it up. And then I laid it on my ironing board to try to get the ends nicely steamed and stuff. So I did all that. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to start, you know, seaming these pieces together and stuff. And so I was in my bedroom with the ironing board still set up so I could have it laid out and stuff. And I just, like, I would get a couple stitches done, and I'd have to walk away because I was just like, I don't like to, I hate doing this. I hate it. It's not fun. And it's it, not. I don't know about you, but when I try to do it, it makes me feel like I'm going insane. Yes. Like, your eyes exactly. are going buggy. Exactly. And, <laughs> and I felt like this linen blend yarn, which is gorgeous. I love it. Eric Knight um, Studio Linen. You can't hide nothing. Like, it's going to show if you're... If your seaming doesn't look well, it's going to oh. show it. And I'll show you mine because it sucks. Um, and I watched videos and I just was like, I don't have, the, I don't care. I don't care enough to learn how to do it. So I need to go back on Ravelry and see. I'm sure there's people that changed it to knitting it in the round and in one Well, you piece. wouldn't rip that whole thing out, would you? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see well, how I seamed it. Okay, you this know what might I mean? sound crazy. Yes. <clears throat> but I was just reading... <clears throat> I don't know if they still do it, mm -hmm. but someone on Ravelry, mm -hmm. um, oh, it's when I was looking at other projects of the three color cashmere mm -hmm. cowl, and I was looking at this one lady's, I really liked what she'd done, yeah. and that, so I was looking at her whole Ravelry, I was stalking her, yeah. is what I was doing, That's all right. and she had put something about Twisted in Portland that they do finishing work. Oh my gosh. So you could like pay oh, them. Yeah. If if they still do it, but if they don't, I know you could commission someone to do totally. it. Totally. Someone true. here would probably That's true. Yeah. Because I love I know that it once this was finished, I knew I would like it yeah. a lot. I just it just looks horrible. <clears throat> so. I wish I could do it for you, but I'm terrible at it. Terrible. So this one, I mean, doesn't look too I don't know. Okay. I'm just Is that the inside? That's the shoulder. Or is that the outside? outside. Okay. Outside. So that's the shoulder. Okay. So remember that one I just finished? It had that weird shoulder too. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's no, weird. No, I think it's weird because I didn't do it right. Like, I'm sure if I've done it right, you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It just doesn't look pretty. It just, there's like a big bump. Yeah. I just, and I don't, I haven't steamed it to okay. see if it would lay, you know, because linen is Because other than that, I don't really think it looks that bad. It's and just. And then this side, I just feel like. Well, this side I feel like looks maybe a little bit better. But then when I started doing the sides, <clears throat> I just felt overwhelmed. I was like, it's too long. I don't think your shoulders look bad. Well, okay, this sucks. Look at that. Okay. That's horrible. Is that the outside? Um, I think it is. But no, it's not. So I was showing okay. you the Okay, because that makes more sense. <clears throat> see, on that sweater that I did, I don't remember what it was, but that stuff was on the... Okay, so see, it, even lo it looks worse on the right side. Oh. You know what I mean? And it doesn't lay, I don't know, it, like, to me, that does not look good. Well. It doesn't look good. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, um, and then here, yeah, I feel like it looks like crap. And if you don't catch everything, then you got holes. Uh -huh. So I had a couple holes, you know, and oh. I was like, and to go back and try to fill those holes with this yarn, it doesn't hide well. It doesn't look good. So I'm just not happy with it. So I didn't even finish the other side because I was just like this looks like crap and I love this yarn I love I know I would wear the heck out of this like I know I would then you need to have someone do it for you yeah yeah so I was hugely disappointed because I'm like almost done with it I still would have to pick up for the sleeves you seam it and then you pick up for okay. the sleeves and do the sleeves um <clears throat> But it's been sitting in time out because I'm just like, I don't even know what the heck to do with it. I even took a finishing class once. No. Now, granted, it wasn't a great finishing class, the yeah. guy that taught it. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I've, and like you, I've watched videos. Yeah. I've done, it's not like I just, you know. Haphazardly try to do something. Yeah. Yeah. And I know things take practice and all mm -hmm. that. But if you don't like doing it and your things look like crap when you do it, why would you want to practice? I know. You know? I know. So. And I have no desire to become... Really, really good, good at, at seaming things. Yeah. I prefer one piece in the round, yeah. simple. I just, I don't like 
that finishing stuff. It just drives me crazy. Well, I would check with Twisted or someone yeah. here might say, like, yeah. if you're so somewhat close yeah. and you want to yeah. tell her how much you charge. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would pay somebody to do it. Totally. I think I would love it. I know I'll love it, but I just want it to look nice. Yeah. Because to me, the the beauty is in those details and if you don't get those details right it might look like beautiful knitting but if those shoulder i mean you're going to see those shoulders well and like you said that yarn is so dainty it, it's and it just doesn't so hide anything yeah yeah you can't hide or fudge anything so i feel like it's something where you really have to have it look nice otherwise it's not going to look that's nice. frustrating when you <coughs> work so yeah. hard to get the knitting done and now you're stuck yeah. because when you you want to get it done i totally do when it's so close to being done yeah and it was a joy to knit i enjoyed knitting it I love the pattern. I just don't like seaming at all. Yeah. And I'm sure somebody has. I just need to have time to sit down on Ravelry and see if somebody has done it in the round. Not that I would rip it all out and redo it. I would hope not. Yeah. I mean, I could. I guess it depends on what you find as far as someone finishing it because. Yeah. Usually I find, and this is just because I don't know what I'm doing, but I find when people do leave notes for how they did it in the round, I still don't get it. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel yeah. like I have to see it, like have somebody say to me, sit down with me and say, mm -hmm. okay, Leslie, cast on this This is mini, what we're going to do. And let's mark yes. here because these are your sides. Could you just rewrite the pattern? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> because I tried doing that with another pattern and I saw notes and I was like, I have no clue what you just said. Like, I don't know what you mean. Right. And I know it's me because oh, totally. yeah, a lot of no, people I would understand it, but I'm just like, for me, I just, it's over my head. Um, I don't That three color cashmere cowl by Hohe, mm -hmm. I, someone had done it, they'd changed it, they'd done a provisional cast on and done it uh, and turned it into an infinity cowl. Oh, wow. So, which is what I would really like. Oh, yeah. But when I read, I was like, oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to. I just don't know. Is it like, am I lazy? Is it, am I a lazy knitter? I, I don't, don't think you're a lazy knitter, and I don't know what to even say because <laughs> I just don't like. I don't have time for that. Like when I sit down to knit, I just want to be able to knit. We're at maximum capacity. We okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else can fit in here, <laughs> and it's not because oh we're really smart. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, certainly. Something else. <laughs> Something else uh, for sure. What's that <clears throat> you got there though? What's that? that? That's your. Uh, That's the easy eyelet yoke. Oh my sweater. gosh. So that's by Knit Knititude. Um, She's loving, really, really cute. I'm loving, loving that. So that's her sweater. And this is one that I have to go get more yarn for. So that's why I haven't been able to finish it because I'm almost, I mean, well, I still have a waist Oh, my God. It's super I know. Duper I've soft. knit with this. It's not like I've never touched it before. But, but it's like the first time every time. It's like the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it is so awesome. <laughs> Uh, just leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> I've had times like that, you know. And the color, oh my gosh, but like, yeah. look how close that is. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't lose any. <laughs> Don't get it off the needles. Although it's super easy to pick up. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, it's super duper soft, and I can't wait to finish this one because I think I'll wear the heck out of it. I hope the size is okay, and I know everybody's saying, did you gauge swatch? No, I didn't gauge swatch. But I, I can't remember with this yarn how much it... it blooms or how much it I don't, I don't think it either. does I don't much. I think it does a ton either. But I think I think it'll be fine. Doesn't some of it depend on the pattern too? It does. And this pattern to me, I th it doesn't seem super oversized. Um so I probably should have <clears throat> gone up a needle size. Is this the Aran weight or yeah. the worsted weight? Uh, Is it the far or the left? Oh gosh. Okay, well you got a tag right here. Oh there you go. Well there you go. Okay. Thank God for that. Yeah. Well, let's it's supposed see. to have one to three inches of positive ease, so okay, it's supposed to. So let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not patient with What's them, right? <laughs> oh, far. This is the far. Okay, so, so that's is, the worsted, right? I think it's worsted. I think that's yes. because that's what I used on the Calancho. Yeah. See, and they didn't have this color when I was yeah, picking my colors out. Colors. I love this color. It is color 20. Oh my gosh. So it's amazing. Yeah. I, I really, really like it. Yes. So I need to go back to Starlight. And you know and what? <coughs> I didn't, like I said, I didn't bring my my uh, second turtle yeah. move. But I've been working on it some, mm -hmm. and I can tell you, hands gosh. down. This is softer. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's like, amazing. way. I'll finish it, it's and I'll amazing. still wear it, but if yeah. I was going to do another one. Yeah. Or anything else. I mean, it's, yeah. I just love it. But that's why I've always said, like, if I was on a desert island, mm -hmm. not desert island, but a desert island. We'll take it both ways. Yeah, we'll take it both <laughs> ways. I would, if I just had wool folk, I'd be happy. Yeah. Any of their wool folk. Yeah. I just love. I do too. I love it. I think it's the softest. It's lovely. Dreamiest fabric. Yeah. 
and it knits up beautifully. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. So. And when you're using yarn that you just love. Oh, yeah. It makes knitting so much more enjoyable. It's so... Um, okay, so yeah. the... You know what else I pulled out? I've been, I've been just trying to get my whips done. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. So I've been working <coughs> on my In the Light. I think that's Tangerine Knits. Yeah. And the colors that I'm using, I'm so in love wow. with that it's making it yes. really, really enjoyable. Oh, wow. So down here, I had started with uh, Republic of Wool, mm. um, 100 Acre Wood. Yes. And I mean, I like it. Mm -hmm. I always liked it in the skein. Totally. I, I like it, but it's not like, I'm not like, oh my God, I love this color. Right. It's a great but neutral though. It, it's it really is. good. When you start oh, getting man. into the Dragon Tears by Wool and Vine. Wow. Sparkly. Sparkly. It's and that's sparkly. Amazing. It's sparkly. Then you start adding in. So here's the here's Dragon Tears by Wool and Vine. I it's I beautiful. mean I just love this color. Yeah. It's beautiful. Then you get into this. Oh. I think this is Rolling Fog by Barnyard Knits. That's amazing. It is amazing amazing yeah, yeah and so right now that's what i'm, I'm knitting the two together Gosh. and then pretty soon i'll just be doing this that'll be amazing but it is it's like i don't and mm. feel it's just yeah. it's not it, it's not like wool yeah. folk i'll give so, you that yeah it's so squishy but it's squishy, it's squishy and god these colors uh, just are awesome they're amazing they're amazing so that's what's kept that's why i've been working on oh, this yeah. because it's like and carrie Mm -hmm. knit one of these <coughs> oh okay and right. she showed it to me on the other day and mm -hmm. it's really cute that's awesome so like the all these things that you see here is not me being lazy it's that's gonna end up being fringe anyway oh that's awesome yeah so, so it's like built-in fringe yeah so you do something oh my gosh, with this amazing. whole edge when you get done okay. that turns it into fringe oh my gosh that's brilliant i know i can't wait that's awesome <laughs> i can't wait to do that that's really but, cool yeah and it's just a really cute it looks really cute on on carrie so i was like what's that called again in the light in the light i might have to do that one it's it's oh god i just love these that's colors. amazing and i love that bulkiness of it especially in the winter you know? i love that it's okay it's it's fingering weight but you're holding them double yeah and I wasn't sure if knitting from both ends was going to mm -hmm. be an issue for me. Yeah, it's fine. Totally fine. So, well, I love that you can use up your fingering weight for something bulkier than fingering I'm weight. I'm so you know? stoked that's about amazing. a couple of patterns yeah. that I'm going to just. I think that's great because yeah. so many of us have those single skeins and we're like, what the heck do we do with them? I yeah. love piecing stuff together now. I'm kind of like all over totally. that. Totally. It's awesome. When I look for patterns now, I'm like, oh, cool. I can double up some fingering weight and yeah. use it. And yeah. It, there's, it's really gratifying to it get is. yarn out of your stash. Oh, my gosh. It's like you've already Who knew? bought it. You I know. know. <laughs> Using yarn that you buy. <laughs> Such a brilliant wow. concept. <laughs> we're oh, like I didn't real knitters think now. <laughs> Why didn't we think of this before? Oh, did I show you guys? <coughs> I don't think I showed you. My, oh, you you see my Ouija board pin? Oh, wow. Was, Interesting. Awesome? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Who's that from? Is I don't that? even remember. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's right here. Is that it? That's funny. And then I did get the small worlds or whatever in the knit oh, shop. Oh, that's cute. That's and then really the cute. Rhinebeck VW. I think those are ones that I probably haven't cute. shown yet, if you can see them. Yeah, those are really cute. Yeah. Fun. Um, Fun, fun. I thought maybe at some point while you're talking, I would look in here just to see if my... I've already looked in here, but I thought mm -hmm. I'll look again and just see if I find my little yes, crystal please thing. please do. So Tammy Gore came out with a new pattern, and she needed test knitters. And so I messaged her, and I was like, yeah, please test knit, because I love, you know, I love her, and I love her patterns. And um, So it's called Stone Avenue, and it hasn't been released yet. Um, but it's a cowl, and it has some brioche in it. Oh, it's nice. It's got some just different things um okay because i thought that was a sock that is a sock Woo! but this is yes you are correct oh, okay. you are correct <laughs> like, wow. so you use mohair which of course i love along with fingering weight so to me that's like amazing and brilliant mm -hmm. the only problem i'm having is i ran out of the mohair i was using again yeah seems see, to be a common this problem from, this is from twi it's from twisted it is fun. their Oh gosh, do I not have the tag for it? It's very inexpensive mohair. I love that color. Yes, these are Dear Sweet <gasps> Angelique's colors. Oh, Angelique, they're yeah, beautiful. they're beautiful. So they are, okay, That's hopefully I have so the tags soft. for them. Is it Love Notes? I or something about is, a girl's yes, party? Love, love notes. notes. And then, oh boy, where's the other tag? Love it. Um, gosh, I thought it was all great and had everything in one bag. I don't remember what the other color is. Crap. 
Um, but anyway, it's these two colors. And part of me was like, oh, should I use should I have used a more contrasting? Oh no, it's so you know. Pretty. But I love pink. So this is her love notes, which I absolutely love. In I fact, love I've it been too. Encouraging her strongly to get it on sparkle. Oh yeah. Because everything's better. On in sparkle. fact, I think that that I might not have that one because I was waiting for it to get, because yes. I really love it. It's gorgeous. But I think gorgeous. that's exactly it, as I wanted yes. it to sparkle. So anyway, I'm knitting, you know, you don't pair these. I mean, there's different sections. You really can't tell because it's, to me, that's the thing. There's not much contrast. And so I'm kind of like, should I have done more of a contrast? But, oh, but anyway, beautiful. it's really pretty. Uh, I don't know how much of it you guys can see. Are you almost done? Because no. Oh, no. so it's a big cowl. It's a it's a good size. I mean, I'm trying to see. Oh. Um, so it's going to squish down like the three color cowl. I think like so. Like it's really long. In the I'm lead. sure. Okay. I'm sure. I mean, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Well, I mean, but you can't the wear length it like is that. 27 inches, so not too long. That's long and for a cowl. Is it 27? Well, inches? I mean, if you're squishing it down this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's almost three feet. I'm trying to see where I'm at well, on here. Well, two and a half. Because then I would I know. guess just over two. 27. So I still have a couple more sections. I still have the brioche sections and... 27. Okay. Oh. Oh, my gosh. That's 27. So... Wow. Unless it's going to go around like that. No. Right, because your... Length is 27 inches. The width is 12 inches. And the bottom width is 14 and a half inches. I do like it when there's <coughs> a little bit wider on the bottom. Yeah. I think that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I was, um, well, I'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. All right. Don't forget, though. I will forget. Okay. So I was <laughs> thinking, because I agonized over casting on that three-color cashmere cowl yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I was thinking, I wanted one that was you know a little bit wider down here yeah. just so it lays better yeah. so it's not yeah. just a a neck cuff yeah. almost <laughs> exactly. in a sense yeah yeah a neck condom yeah I was <laughs> like um so you want like a shoulder warmer in a sense well, well i don't want it on shoulders. my shoulders that okay. then it would be okay. is that what you're supposed to do with that no i have no idea okay i don't know this is a test knit <laughs> okay. girl i don't know there's <laughs> okay there's not any pictures yet so all right, all right. i don't think any so anyway, I feel I feel the pressure to get this sucker done, but I need to get to Twisted and get me some more, or I could just go online and order it, like Michelle said, which is brilliant. But anyway, the mohair I'm using is pink. It's a light pink. Oh, so, man, I have so much light pink mohair, really? along with the wool wash that I would never remember to bring well, you. Well, see, part of me thought, I love mixing different colors in mohair, so part of me thought, man, I can use some of my leftover Fidalgo that I used on another project, but it would really... What about the pink mohair that I got for your birthday? Yes, but I'm kind of, I have two skeins of that. I'm kind of saving those okay. for like one project together. And you what's funny, I mean? you know what? Until I <coughs> just said that, I didn't even remember what I got you for your birthday. Yes. I couldn't remember. You did. You got me two lovely skeins of mohair. <laughs> and I could, but I figured I might use that for like a sweater or something. Okay. So, and th this mohair, whatever brand it is, Barocco. It's Barocco. Okay. Their mohair. It's very inexpensive. And I probably only need like another skein of it. So, I, I just need to looking. get there. But yeah, it's going to be super soft and I love... Tammy Gore, as you all know, and she's she's so great. And I love her sample. It's these gorgeous deep wine burgundy colors too. So is so. there like patterning? Oh yeah. What am I patterning. seeing? Yeah, like seeing. there's some lace here, which you know will block out. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, which will block out. Okay. Yeah, and so. there's some brioche sections. So I love that because I, like I feel this. like there's some different different things going on. Mm. I really like that. I love um, this color. But yeah, there's eyelet stripes and see the stripes that's that's where i was saying i should have contrasted more because you're not going to see my oh. stripes because my colors are so close so it kind of takes away from the patterning so you could throw in a third like a wine color that's true and you know what i don't think i have done the stripes yet oh the next section is stripes so that's true maybe i'll throw in a different color that a more contrasting pretty. color like if you had a, a nice wine yeah that'd be pretty because i just feel like i don't want to lose if right. i'm going to go to the work of, and not like it's work doing stripes but if i'm going to go and i want the pattern to show its best side obviously so um, i think i probably will do that that's you're just full of great ideas. What's happening oh here? Oh my gosh. I straighten oh my, my hair and I get smart again. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to go blonde. That would, no. <laughs> that would like indicate that I thought I was smart before That's and right. we all know. You are. You're brilliant. <laughs> yeah. You are brilliant. Uh, okay. I feel like I have so many projects. I... Like five? Wow. It's insane. Well, you... 
get them done. Crazy. That's so a cute I, bag. Pull, well, so I pulled cute. out my Christmas bags. So cute. So I know I love this bag. That's beautiful. I think it's by Laughing Stitches, I, I love think is the, the name. I love the quilting look. Oh, it's so too. pretty in the burgundy. Oh really my cute. gosh. So this is, yeah, I, I mean, I went full on pulling out my Christmas stuff. Wow. Every single one of these is in a Christmas. Wow. I mean, if you got them, use them. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the three color cashmere cowl. I just cast it on last <coughs> night. Oh, so you are doing another one. Yeah. Okay. They're I addicting. Mean, cowls are fun. I love cowls yes. because I wear them. It's yes. just, I searched for quite a while yesterday. I put in a bunch of criteria mm -hmm. as far as like how much yardage I have and everything. Yeah. Just trying to find an alternative to doing this cowl. Okay. Um, instead of doing the three. The yeah, instead of doing the three color cashmere oh, okay. cowl again. Okay. Okay. But I really just came back to land this one. Land of sweets. You could just go to land of sweets. I just did one of those. I know. True. And True. and I'm only doing three colors. Okay. And gotcha. so. Um, and I've never done that cowl yet. I should. Well, I mean, it's the thing is. I didn't like how my one that I ended up giving to Lori. Mm -hmm. th right, the colors. Yeah, and I don't know, there's something about the way it, that's what I'm saying. I think mm -hmm. I almost thought about adding more stitches, and I guess this could be the top, Yeah, and yeah. I could add more stitches to the bottom, because I just think it would then lay better. Right. Yeah, it would kind of drape more. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you could make it look nicer. Yeah, so I think maybe yeah. this will be the top. I don't even know how, I think it doesn't matter how the pattern's mm -hmm. written because there's really no top or bottom but right um I, this is this is the miss bab sojourn it's so soft it, oh my god it's got like this halo oh it's, my gosh is that silk it's or silk and cashmere oh just my silk gosh. and cashmere wow it is dreamy That's luxury seriously that'd be so fun to knit oh man so i went back <clears> and forth on what order i was going to do the colors I was, I even took, first I was doing it on my finger, then I just took a knitting needle and was mm. like wrapping some, wrapping the next one, wrapping the next one. Oh yeah. D all these different, there's only three colors and I'm overwhelmed okay. with what order well, should I put these Well, I in. do that too. So. You know, we make it more, Bob always tells me, he says, I think you're making things more, or you're overthinking things. And yeah. I do that all the time. I yeah. overthink things. Well, that's what yes. happens when you're super smart. It's true. Because it's just true. thinking normal is just not enough. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we have to think of all the scenarios. All the stuff. <laughs> Go to the worst case, <laughs> yes. best case. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, I do. I was going to hold off. Part of me was going to hold off on this until I got another whip done. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, I just got a bunch of stuff done. I can, yeah. I can do this. And oh, yeah. It was. It's just so nice on the hands. So, show us the colors. Okay. You show us the colors. Well, I mean, I did. So are you you did on another member because um, oh yes you had uh, just uh, no better roses yes what's her name Catherine yes oh my gosh <laughs> yes Catherine picked out the colors that's yes. right okay gotcha it's all coming so back this is to me the now. Adobe that's this gonna be gorgeous parchment. so they're all the same kind of yarn same yes. oh my gosh that's gonna be so amazing and then it's gonna be a luxury I know oh. it is I mean that's I, I love. Mm -hmm. I so. love when you can, because is that yarn expensive? It's like 30 bucks a skein. Okay, and so it's that's not normal. Yards. Yeah. Sorry, I have to cough. That's okay. <coughs> so yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's a $90 cowl. Okay. Okay. What? Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, like, duh. It's no, or? it's expensive, but yet I'm thinking, I guess, so you're going to use all three skeins? Do you use the whole skein? All I think three. you might have a little bit left, but okay. not like, you're not going to knit a sweater. Okay. Over. I mean, you know, what are you going to do with this little bit okay. left? Okay. It's expensive, but there are things that are worth it. Oh, completely. And no, it's so true. This is like... It's amazing. And that's why I wanted to do one that I actually, you know, hopefully I'll like these colors on yes. me. Oh, I think so. Um, why wouldn't you? Because I didn't like the other ones on me. Oh, and yeah, I but those were completely different. They're totally different, Ch yes. Chartreuse green. Chartreuse <laughs> green, whatever. I mean, that's... But I liked how they looked. They look great together. Yes. They do. They look amazing. And, and yeah. someone had really liked it because they thought it was like a Mariner's kind of thing. Oh, okay. And I do. I'm always attracted to those Mariner's colors. I don't even know what sport that... I think it's football or something, but... it's baseball. Whatever. <laughs> I don't watch Maybe. sports. I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, I love those colors, but... On me, I just didn't. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't like it, it looked amazing on Lori. She I wore it, it the last really time. Good yeah, on she Lori. Looked, it looked beautiful on her. So, but that's why I decided to go ahead and just mm -hmm. buy it again yeah. because it is it is so I mean, heavenly. I mean, that is, is heavenly. Yeah, it's like if you don't want to knit with str a strand a strand of mohair, this is like to me, this is your solution because yeah. it has a, a halo uh -huh. and it's so soft, super soft. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's got to be up there with wool folk. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That blend. That's yeah. amazing. Yes, exactly. Wow. Um, I've knit with other 
Miss Babs yarn. Mm -hmm. I did a whole cardigan out of her yarn. Yeah. And I, I mean, I really like it, but this is by far, oh, gee. like if I had to choose between Miss Babs and mm -hmm. Wool Folk to do a sweater, right. I would definitely go Wool Folk. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unless I could do a sweater out of this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I would totally do that because yeah. this is, it's super awesome. And I don't know of many people that have that blend of yarn. Do you? No, because I think, um, I want to say Road to China has one okay. that's just silk and cashmere. Okay. But yeah, most of them put wool in there. Yeah, because that is luxury. It I is. I mean, that is like it amazing. Is. And yeah. But I haven't heard of that blend before. So that must be something that not everybody does. Yeah, that's probably true. I don't know. I don't know what people do, but I just I don't, don't I don't just don't think I've heard of it a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's really No, cool. that's true because <laughs> I I did shop around a little bit. Yeah before deciding on these because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure if I'm going to spend another hundred bucks oh, on a yeah, cowl for sure I want to make sure it's you know oh yeah and so I did and I I had a hard time finding that one yeah. yeah and and plus I had worked with this before and I knew that I loved it yeah. so I thought well oh it must be amazing to knit with I can't even imagine it must be just like butter you know exactly. except not greasy exactly like Irish butter and not fattening <laughs> right so it, it's the best it is the best <coughs> so the next thing I had to cast on was Amy, who we adore, little Taylor S. Amy Loudon. Oh, she yeah. came out with her Fording Bridge trainer socks. Oh, cute. Which I don't work out at all, which I should. I should work out. Oh, so my gosh. So, I, I mean, no, I would not wear. I used to exercise a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I need to. Obviously, I don't know. But I used to love to work out. Yeah. I never would have worn hand knit socks to work out in. Yeah. But these are interesting. But it could make you want to do it more. Oh, yeah. And the <laughs> thing is, I love footy socks. Like, Me too. I love how quick they knit up. Yep. I love that they aren't huge and they don't show oh. when you're wearing boots. You know? Right. They're hidden. So I appreciate these because they're beautiful. I do too. Yeah. And I love the patterning on it. So it features a band of ribbing around the arch of the foot. And a okay. raised heel height to oh. prevent them from slipping down into your shoes. <gasps> so it's, I think it's brilliant. So, I hate it when socks oh slip my down gosh. the shoes. Yeah, I do too. Hate like it. a lot of times my hand knit socks, they're just a little bit big on me. And so then when I take my boot off, the sock comes with it. So, oh. I mean, it's so funny. Like that's a real problem. You know, <laughs> the struggle. When your socks just fly oh off with gosh, your boot. It's kind of like your hand flying off your head <laughs> when you're right. shaking your head. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I had to cast these on. <clears throat> I used barnyard knits. You're using your Her, leftovers I'm using from leftovers. Yeah. Yes. To see them. Yes. So this is the start <gasps> of one. They now is this new pattern? Yes, brand new. I didn't hot see. Hot off the press. Hot off the press. Usually I see her posts. I didn't so see a pattern. post about this or anything. Yeah. So the patterning is really pretty. It's I very think it's delicate. Delicate yes. and beautiful. Um, I wanted to try to incorporate this color too because totally. this would have definitely. Sh I mean, I think the pattern shows up amazingly. Do on the here. ribbing in it. I know. I thought about that, and at first I thought, "Oh, I'm just going to do the toe in the brown, and then do this oh. in the white." But then I kept going, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I was supposed to do that, and I didn't do that." If you did the ribbing in it, it would remind me of those one socks that I did. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of what they're called right now. Yeah. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you everything, okay? <laughs> Just give me a little clues, and I'm supposed to figure it out. I love these. So anyway, I think they're super cute. And I loved, she gave two tutorials. Um, I will say, okay, really quickly, this pattern, I am usually a continental knitter. I can do both. I used to be a English knitter. Okay. But now I'm a continental mostly, but I can, of course, do English still. Um, <coughs> with these, when you do this pattern, I have to knit it English style. Really? Yeah, Why? I can't do the continental. It's just the stitch that it calls oh, for. Okay. It's the way you have to wrap your yarn. It's very cumbersome, at least for oh. me, doing it the continental way. So it's a, a star pattern. Someone else just did a star. But there's different star patterns. Different like I tried stars. looking up a tutorial for this star pattern because I wasn't quite getting it from the written directions. And it was different oh. than what she was doing. Okay. So I figured it out. Okay. But um, I definitely, so each time I get to that row, I have to switch hands. Oh, okay. And oh, do interesting. English knitting for that. So just, for, just for the pattern. Just row. for the pattern. Okay. Yeah. And you guys might be able to do fine with it. So it just might just be me. But I just found it was easier to switch it over. So, but I love these socks. I think they're so cute. They're and, really cute. And you know, I haven't knit socks this year. So I felt like this oh pair gosh. of socks, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I have to buy the pattern and I have to cast these yeah. on. So it's been fun to have them just 
sitting on I mean that's what's funny I had like pattern or knitting stuff in my family room I had knitting stuff over on my chair in my living room I had so this was one of them that was sitting in my living room and so I it's good to have it in every room <laughs> I know and then I had I had the which one was in the bathroom <laughs> there was none in the bathroom no. then whatever this one is this chain was in my bedroom because that's where I had you know steamed it so I felt like I had to like gather up all these different you know patterns but anyway well so. it's no wonder you couldn't come to my house I know it too, much way too much crap but yeah. you have some tons of stuff to bring over too so so um, one thing I purchased was the Marled Magic Shawl, and I cannot remember why. I saw somebody knitting on it, and I thought, wow, that's really pretty, and it uses a bunch of fingering weight yarn held double. That's a Stephen West, yeah, right? Yeah, Stephen West, um, the Marled Magic. So I can't And remember. that one's been out a while, oh, hasn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah, it's okay. been out forever. And I can't remember who was showing it, but I was like, that's really pretty, and that uses up, you know, multiple... Uh, things of fingering weight yarn so, so I have not on I know <laughs> she's a snorer so I have not cast it on yet but okay. um, I need to cast on a shawl I feel like because I have no shawls on me either. oh my goodness That's two three sweaters and a cowl and socks and I need a shawl so I'll probably cast that on soon but <clears throat> I was going to show you guys the pattern that I thought for this mohair just so you guys would oh know. yeah yeah I wanna um uh, I'm hoping it'll just come up. Let's see. Do you have anything else? To yeah. Do so that? I bought, and I'm not showing yet, because she wanted to kind of, I asked her, Kirby Werby Yarns mm -hmm. did a Christmas vacation quotes. Mm. Is that a siren? No, it's my washing machine. <laughs> In <laughs> fact, I wasn't going to do laundry because I was like, it's going to, I'm going to hear the sound. But I brought the blanket. We have a deck and we have like blankets out there that we cover up with. And I told Bob, I was like, those are hand sewn like quilts that Bob's mom has made for us. I'm like, we should probably bring them in. You yeah, know, because it's like raining and, yeah. and moldy. So sure enough, I went to grab them and they were moist. And I was oh like, dear. I need to get them in the wash machine yes. as soon as possible and make I'm sure that they're you. fine. But <clears throat> anyway, go ahead because I need well, to. Well, so this, I love this bag from Daisy Girl. I don't know if she so still cute. makes them, but because it has the window. And see, yeah. Okay, Christmas Vacation is like the best movie. Yes. Did you see they have figurines now on Amazon you can buy? They're amazing. I was going to tell now you Now, what's that. that noise? That's to say that the wash machine's done. Oh, my Sorry. God. Sorry. That's a lot of noise. I know. It's been so long since I've been around a home washing oh machine. I forget what they sound like. <laughs> I just get a text. Your wash cycle is about complete. Oh, that's right. You're at the laundromat. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, that's um, funny. Anyway, so <laughs> she did this... Um, this mystery skein and so each mm. color has a quote from the movie oh fun totally fun so she fun. didn't use my quote that i suggested oh she said she liked it but she just couldn't bring herself to do it because it's the one that goes with this picture oh cute remember oh, yes i oh i watch it every <laughs> so if you know the yes. i know we know all the lines so um, <clears throat> yes you know what cousin eddie says about the mm -hmm. yes i have to say it Go on, you can say Shitter is full. Yep. Whatever. I mean. Does Michael say it all the time at your place? <laughs> you know, oddly, no, but it's true. <laughs> so I divided it up mm -hmm. so that I can cast on. But I haven't, I'm not going to show it yet because I told her we'd keep the secret. Because some people have ordered this yes. yarn and they're not opening it until, okay. I think, Thanksgiving. So you already opened it? No, I can open it. You I'm can? just not showing it. Okay. I didn't even know that was a thing oh. to not open it. I, I just knew that it was a, um, before we ordered it, we didn't get to see what it was. Okay. So we yeah. just ordered based on knowing that we liked the idea. Yes. And so when I got it, of course mm -hmm. I opened it. But then I sent her, because I noticed other people showing like their progress on their socks, yeah. but in black and white. Oh, gotcha. And, and you so, were like, why are you doing that? Well, I was like, well, I mean, if there's something, <laughs> if I'm not supposed to show it, I don't want to be the jerk That's that true. shows it. That's so. true. Well, you could just warn people to look away. I thought about that, but they'd be like you. Be I like, know. I know. Well, no, I, I have, have to look. look. I and then it would be my it. fault. So. That is true. So that I don't know true. when I'll cast those on, but I just thought it was so fun because it's... Great it's movie. so fun. And I'm, I ha love. I'm happy with the colors. Yes. So, I cannot exactly. wait to put that movie on. That's like the first movie I put in on Thanksgiving Day, I think. Yeah. It's one of them that we watch. We watch the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, their movie thing. And then we watch Christmas Vacation. We always have to watch the dog show. 
The dog show. And the parade, Macy's Day Parade. <coughs> Those dog shows crack me up. Oh my gosh, I love them. Except for it pisses, well, I hate to say that word down here, pisses me off. When they don't show Boston Terriers. I'm like, hello, where's the Boston Terriers? Do they show Chihuahuas? Sometimes. Do they show Italian, oh, well, they show Italian Greyhounds because they're usually the ugliest dog. Oh, are you serious? No, I mean, they've oh. won the ugliest dog the award. Ugliest, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but some years they'll actually show a Boston. I'm like, thank oh. you. Okay, so this is a sweater. I've decided I'm going to knit, I think, with this um, okay. Drops Melody. So it's a cardigan. It's called the Kinnikin Cardigan by Tara Lynn Morrison. Kinnikin. Kinnikin. I don't know if you guys It's a big, fluffy K I N I K I N. Okay. And <clears throat> of course, I will modify slightly because I don't like cropped cardigans. I will make it longer. Um, and it's just mohair. <clears throat> Yeah, it it's it. They use loopy mango mohair, okay. which I looked it up, and we do have it in the U.S. here at um, what was the knit shop? Um, at Close Knit, they have okay. it. Okay, so I could go buy it because honestly, if I was gonna knit, I would choose pink. You know, it's just me. Okay. So this is more of an earthy. But I have two have colors. That. I have gray. Oh, those are different. Yes, they're different. Oh. <clears throat> But I'm going to have to probably use them together because I have like four skeins. I think this calls for like 800 and something yards. Um, or 700, 700 or something yards. So I think I would have enough if I use this, but I'd have to stripe it or do something. And to me, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I might just want, or I was thinking of doing a black one because I was like, black would match oh, a lot of things. Nice. It could be dressy, but then it could be yeah. casual. So that's the pattern. And I heard about it on a spa strico because they showed it on their latest podcast. Okay. But they did it with a loopy mango and it was gorgeous. It was so pretty. So but when I saw that this wasn't gonna work for my project, I looked it up and I was like, Oh, it's bulky and this calls for bulky. I'll just, you know, use it for that. Could but you exchange those? Where'd you get them? Online. This is mm. the stuff that came from like Lithuania oh, or something. Gosh, yeah, the stuff took forever to get here. <laughs> So, okay, so, so no, I won't no, be exchanging that. that. I will, and I will use it. I love it. It's super fluffy. I'll either put it on with a shawl, yeah. you know, or something. I know I'll use it because um, I love it. It's just for the sweater I was doing, it was a little too fluffy, okay. if that's even a thing. Yeah. Well, apparently it was. It was when you have lace weight mohair. I mean, maybe if you'd started <clears throat> with it. Yes, but, if I'd started yeah. with it or at least had a big section of it with it and kind of alternated different mohair, it would have been fine. But, yeah, to just do that, it wasn't gonna work so okay yeah oh you got your row and i got one. my row one die lot studios this oh, time have and you heard of them mm -hmm. okay. okay yeah and i love their yarn like it was funny because when i when i got the notification that these had shipped i thought you know i really should just cancel that subscription because oh boy you know but then you don't then I get them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love these. They're so They're pretty. So cool. They, like, I, I did open this, I swear. Those are beautiful. I, I can already tell. Yeah. Tell. They're fabulous. Yes. Like, all of them. Oh my god. They're great. Yes. I love that one as a neutral. They're just... Asparagus blan blanche. Look at that. Blanche. I yeah. love that. That reminds me of Barnyard Knits. So. Yeah. You guys won't be able to see these. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not going to even try to read the names because... Rainbow over lilacs or lilacs. People pronounce lilacs or lilacs differently. Oh. How do you pronounce it? Lilac. I always did lilac. But when and I was when I was a kid, we always had lilacs. And then a friend of mine was like, "No, it's lilacs." I'm like, "I know it looks like lilacs, but it's supposed to be lilacs." But it's different people do it. Differently. Well, was it lilacs because you were a kid and you thought that sounded cute? That's just what my mom always called them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did you do that? So did you tell fault. her that just yeah. because it sounded cute for a kid to say? <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound cute, really? Not out of a 40-something-year-old. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I don't care how you say lilac. Lilac. Well, she's like lawyer or lawyer. Lawyer. See, I think I think lawyer, too. But people are like, no, it's lawyer. Lawyer. And I'm like, well, that's what Call it looks like. Call your lawyer. Yeah, if you're from New York. Right. I mean, no. I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, who knows? This is Ariel. That's a really pretty that's pretty. green, yeah. I'm not a huge green fan, but that's a pretty, yeah. that's a really pretty. Yeah. If you want to know the names, <clears throat> you need Leslie. To that's do right. That's I'm right. not going to do that. Wrap City in Blue. And this one's pretty. Steel Magnolia. Mm. Magnolia. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's been so fun to watch. That's awesome. She's like the best baby. Oh. Like you lay her down and she just goes to sleep. Oh, and, nice. And she doesn't really cry. Like it's funny. Her little cry is just like a little, oh. you know, like she doesn't like pull out. I mean, maybe, for, maybe I, I don't live with her obviously, so I'm sure she does cry, but she's like just the sweetest, happiest. Aww. Oh, she's so sweet. 
that he views. So sweet. Oh, I really like that one. What's that one? That one is pretty. Nightlife. Ooh. It's like a party. <laughs> awesome. That's really pretty. And totally your color. It's yeah. Blues. Yeah. It's amazing. So the only other um, thing that I've purchased, I bought a bunch of patterns. Oh, nice. All those Abby Knits patterns. Oh. So I'm going to do this thing so I know that this is where I want to insert You're a bunch of pictures. Dance. Yeah. Okay. So I bought, um, okay, I'll just say oh, it, wow. and then I'll be including them. Horizons Toke. Oh, toque? Is it Toke or Toke? Oh, my gosh. I think it's Toke. Toke? I think so. Okay. I think. That one I don't know because I'd call it a hat. Yeah, it's, I a, mean, I it's a toque. It's I think that's, I can't remember where toque. it's from, but somebody, they call it toque. Okay. Yes. Gentle wind tunic. Mm -hmm. Or is it tunic? <laughs> I do change everything. Sweet textured toques. 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 <laughs> Twirl toque. I wow, you're obsessed with these toques. I just, you know, okay, here's what happened. That's hilarious. How many do you have? <laughs> like One, five. Two, three, four. Four, okay. Um. What happened is, is I saw her post about her coastal storm poncho. Okay. And I loved it. Okay. So as soon as it came out, I went to get it. Mm -hmm. But I also saw these other patterns that were already... What I do a lot of times on Ravelry mm -hmm. is instead of just saving it in my favorites, mm -hmm. I just have it in a cart. Oh, okay. It's easier okay, to find interesting. See, I always put it in all my fav yeah. in my favorites. I've got like 25 carts nice. going on oh, Ravelry right. at any given time. Nice. And so... When I saw this Coastal Storm Poncho, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, look, I have a lot of hers that I really like. So, because, mm. oh, actually, some of them probably were in my favorites, mm -hmm. but you know how your cart tells you you've got four other patterns by this designer in oh, your favorites? Okay. Okay. So I got to looking at them, and I was like, oh, yeah, I really like that one. Mm. Oh, I really like that one. Oh, that one. Anyway, I ended up buying them all. Wow, good um, for you. Except the posy shawl, I already had that pattern. Okay. That's the one that, you know, has the different sections, and some of them mm -hmm. are mohair, some of yes. them are I mean, it's just awesome. That's one of them I have to do. Yeah. So I already had that one, but then twirl toque, mm -hmm. coastal storm poncho, and snow and fog toque. So you're going to be knitting a lot of hats. I don't even know if I'm going to knit them all at any particular time. Yeah. I just really liked them. Yeah. And so... Um, I thought, let's do an Abby Knits Knit Along. Nice, so we probably nice. should have talked about this. but <laughs> We are. We're talking about it right, right now. Right now. We're talking about this. So starting in January. She, see, she just tells me what we're doing. This is, you like it better that <laughs> I do, way. I yeah. do. Uh, we're going to do a couple month long <clears throat> Abby Knits <clears throat> Knit Along. I got to look her up now. Cause I gotta. So she, I contacted her and she's going to donate a pattern of the nice. winner's choice which we will open now and we'll close it sometime before january yeah and then she's going to offer us our viewers that are participating in the knit along mm -hmm. a coupon code nice for whatever pattern how do you pronounce her name oh a b b y um yeah but there's an e in there so i think it's a b b y e oh okay. k n i t s okay uh so start looking at her patterns Wow. Um, yeah, she's got a lot of cute ones. She does. Yeah. Ooh, the moraine shawl. One of the hats I chose actually because that yarn that Skein Coquette that Gina sent us. Yes. I thought perfect. That'd be a good hat perfect. for that. I know. I've been eyeballing that yarn and being like, oh, I got a knit. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Because it's. I think that's one of them. That's the Horizons. top one. Yeah. Oh that's my a, gosh. Uh, that yarn that she sent us is kind of outside of something I would pick. Yeah. But I think it will be fun to knit with. That's gorgeous. That's yeah. a beautiful hat. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> it's a toque. It is a toque. Okay. I like that. I think. Um, I don't know. You think you like it? I think it's a toque. It's yes, a toque because it's called Shaw Horizons It's my toque. favorites. I have to knit that one. I know. That's like a must. I already had the yarn picked out for that one, but now I don't know what I'll do. Cause, That's gorgeous. You know, that was months ago. I know. So Things change it, so They quickly. change a lot, yes. That's beautiful. So yeah, we'll run it for a couple months. There'll be prizes and such. Mm -hmm. Coupon code for her patterns once you tell me that you're committing to it. She has a ton of hats. She, and shawls. Toques. She has a lot of toques. She does have a lot of toques. You know what? Thank you. Like I think she's now. Canadian. Oh, okay. And I think the Canadians think that say toques. what it is. I think it is what it is. So us Americans say hat. That's right. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, but she has socks. I mean, she has a wide variety. Oh of yeah, things. I bought a pair of uh, sock too, but I don't. I didn't write it down. Okay, That's darn right. it. It is okay, but That's yeah, right. you're so, forgiven. Thank you. <laughs> she has mittens. I mean, cowls. That's amazing. Yeah, she has a ton of patterns. That's awesome. 
Yeah. Very cool. So that'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be fun. So January. Jan- we'll start in January. Okay. You know, because we can't start now. There's just too oh my much. Gosh, yeah. So yeah. we'll probably go like January, February, because mm-hmm. I know January is still kind of busy for people. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we'll just do January, February, mm-hmm. and um, we'll try to be a little more specific about the details. Yeah. Oh, I did buy something else, but I bought it a long time ago. Mm. It's just that I just now got it. Oh wow. Well, I got it a while ago now. But the Diddy game. Oh right. Yeah. Which we have not played. Have you played it? Yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> We've looked at all the cards. <laughs> That's right. We did. It was really fun. It was. Um, <clears throat> No, and Janine brought it. Janine, um, mm-hmm. yarn and you. Mm-hmm. Yep, Janine She's McCarty. such a sweetie. She's also a uh, knitwear designer. She is. Um, and yarn dyer. And podcaster. She does she everything. She does everything. Mm-hmm. And she's played the game. Yeah. So she was going to teach us, and then we didn't, we just didn't get to it. Yeah. Before. But there's a board, because mm-hmm. it's a board game. Mm-hmm. And there's these little, like, blocking mats. Mm-hmm. So for your FOs. Nice. So, I mean, I kind of can piece together what you do here. What you do. Mm-hmm. And then there's, oh my gosh, just these awesome, they're just fun to look at. I don't care what the you cards do. Are, yeah. But yeah, there's mm-hmm. yarn and then there's patterns. Mm-hmm. That's yarn. Mm-hmm. It just, it, it just looks fun. Yeah. 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 So we're going to play it someday. Mm-hmm. And someday, you know, we might even just play with the cards on here mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. because that's what we do. We could like highlight different patterns and absolutely earrings. Yeah, we've definitely. probably talked enough today. I don't know that we need to do that today, yeah, although right. I have it here. That's true. Um, but it, it's this was so. A how do they get this game if they want it? Yeah. Well, <coughs> I know Barnyard Knits had some in her shop. Mm. Oh right. I yeah, I saw, I saw a post on that. And then I don't know. I'm sure you can Google it. I did it on a Kickstarter Mm -hmm. um, like everyone else. I mean, I think that this was one of those Kickstarters that was funded like that and then just shot through the roof. I'm sure. So it was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody wants it. Yeah. That's awesome. So, But yeah, it would be fun to play. Yeah, I know. We need to do that. We do. For sure. That would be awesome. So, oh, and then we do have a couple winners. Yes. That that and the yarn. Yes. 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 Okay. Did we pick winners already for all of Yes, okay. I did this. Good, all. <laughs> thank you. Yes, because so I knew. Michelle, I was feeling a little overwhelmed with all the winners and who wins what, and I was like, oh my gosh. I think it's just getting back to the groove of watching the kids and stuff. I was like, I can't handle one more. Oh, thing. God, and then me getting sick. I mean, Oh my gosh. So yeah, me being sick. Yeah, it really. Having so if you won a pattern <laughs> and we still haven't got it to you, Sorry. Let us, yeah, let us know. <laughs> Go. Yeah, don't feel like you're bugging us to tell us again. It's just we really just tried to stay on top of stuff. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It was crazy. If you've been watching us very long, you know that mm-hmm. we don't stay on top of stuff. No, so we, don't. we need no. your help. Yes, yes. Um, okay, so I, I swear <laughs> I did this. Okay. So, yeah, Autumn Acorn. Mm-hmm. So, Autumn Acorn winner was number 77, Susan. So, Aunt Suzu. Susie. Oh yeah, and that made me laugh because you're. What does Ev call you? Like Sussy? Sess. Sess. She calls me Sess. So you're Aunt, Aunt Sess, Sess. Mm-hmm. and she's Aunt, Aunt Susu. Susu. That's right. That's so cute. Yeah. So number seventy-seven. So Susan, mm-hmm. get in contact with us and let us yeah. know that you want, and we'll get this in the mail. Beautiful. So thank you, Judy, again for that giveaway. Very nice. Lovely. And it comes with a little progress keeper, a little bunny rabbit. Yeah. So cute. So cute. And then the Studio Britta mm-hmm. thingy. Yep, is number 11, Shannon Snot, Snotestein. Yeah, Snotestein. I don't nice. know. I love the name. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's not why you won. But when I saw <laughs> the name, I was like, oh, yeah, the yeah. Snot Girl yeah, one. That's nice. Yeah. I feel like I'm full of snot right now. Yeah. <laughs> I need to blow my nose. Um, <clears throat> okay, next one. And then the Yarn on Board. Yarn on Board was number From three, Mars. Chris. So Chris O, 1972. Chris O? Chris O. Chris. Chris O. Okay. Not Chris Yeah, not Chris Go. Yes, 1972. Awesome. And then that's that was just who did what. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So are those the only ones? Or that's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's oh all gosh. we had. I hope. Okay. And hopefully the people that won patterns. Hopefully we're set on hopefully that. Hopefully we're set on that. So. Yes. yes. I'd say something stupid like, we'll get better. But we're not. We're not going to get better. Oh my no, gosh. we've just decided that when people give us patterns, we're not going to try to do them all at once. Yes, we need to spread <laughs> them out a little bit. too much for us. Because, yeah, it's like yeah. overwhelming. Like, very. You want to make sure you guys get your stuff. And yeah. yeah. I'll take yeah. this. Okay. Because it's easier probably for me to deal with that than you. Probably. Probably. Yes. So. Well, we live on Tinbuk too. How uh, far away is the post office from you? 
It's just over in Longview. Okay. I, I mean, there's actually, there's one in Rainier and there's one in Klatskanine, but I like to go and do self-service. Oh, okay. And Longview has nice. the I'd rather drive further That's to funny. not have to, to deal with people someone. at the post office. <laughs> I hear you, though. Yeah. My post office, I mean, they probably look at me and go, have you ever mailed anything in your life? Because <laughs> whenever I go, I'm always just like, what do I need for this? They're like, um, oh. you need a package. Oh like, did gosh. you get a package? So I'm like, funny. which one do I get? I don't know. Can oh. you shove this into this small one? I don't, I'm just, I don't. I never you are one stuff. of those people <clears throat> that needs that to drive just, them nuts. <laughs> no, you just need to utilize one of those UPS stores or yeah. you know those mailboxes because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they true. they will do everything they take for care you. Of it. Yes, you can I walk in with the pets. item and oh. just say here. That you is pay what a little I more. Oh yeah, but who they'll cares? deal with it for you. That would be awesome. So, that's exactly what I need. That's what you Thank need to you. Do. That's Again, such a help. See, I'm I always think I have to go to the post office. Yeah, I don't think of those places. Yeah, well, I wouldn't use them because. Why? Because you got to go deal with people. I'd rather do it myself. Oh, gotcha. gotcha That's okay. just the Uwe in me. Okay. What's that? What's it's the Uwe? Uh, that a man called Uwe. I haven't heard of that. Oh my gosh! It's what is such it, a, a good book? Oh, my uh, book. it's a okay. book. It came out uh, several years ago, mm. and a lady that I was working with at the time was mm -hmm. reading it in her oh, book club, okay. and she was telling me how great it was, and yeah. so I kind of thought about it, you know. But it yeah. just—it's not really my genre. Okay. Okay. Um, but then I read another book by him called Bear Town. Oh, okay. that was really, really good. And it, I, I want someone that I know to read that or listen to it on Audible so I can talk to you about it because I have some thoughts about it. But um, huh. just some things that it made me think of of my upbringing, yeah, or my yeah. you know kind of stuff. Yeah, um, interesting. Anyway, this this a man called Uve. It was just it's such a heartwarming. Huh. Um, had me in tears. Aww. Had it's one of those books that I laughed out loud through. Wow. And just really good. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So you read it or you listened I to audible it? Audible. It. Audible. Okay. <laughs> audible it. Time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I don't even know why, what just brought that up. Because you said the word. I did. I was like, but why? Why did I say the word? What were we talking about? <laughs> We don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's yet. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, I was going to try to get us back on track. Good um, luck. I know. <laughs> I don't know. know where we just were. <laughs> no that. idea. I have no idea. <sighs> oh, my gosh. All right. It's a wonder we even get through podcasts, you know, and stay somewhat on track. Focused? Uh, yeah. I think it's just because we go back and forth. It's like we feed And because off we each have other. all this stuff out. Yes. Like, we can, we can <clears throat> actually look at it. And know what we have to accomplish. Because when we first remember when we first went to a table, yeah. how much easier it was oh for my us. Gosh, yeah, yeah. Because when we were like on the couch or whatever, oh, I, yeah. having the stuff out really helps. It does. You can see everything you need to do. And, yeah, because otherwise yeah. we'd just be sitting there and be like, oh, I don't oh know what we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What have you been doing? It'd be horrible. What do we do? <laughs> we have no idea. Yeah. That's um, very helpful. Yeah. The so table solves all of our problems. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a table yes. in front of them. <laughs> so okay. I don't eat here, so yeah, it's yeah, good for exactly. something. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. Well, um, for those of you that'll be well, I don't even know when we'll do this again. Well, I mean, I do plan on coming to your place next. Whatever. I mean, just today. no, it's yeah. fine. Whatever <laughs> works out is fine. It's just however don't, don't well actually it. I shouldn't feel bad because yeah you get to get a visit with your daughter out yeah. of it so you're welcome you know you get yeah. to, come to see your we get daughter. to go take Renata out that's right <laughs> and, no you know I love Renata to death yes. she is the one that got me sick she so. is and you took care of her and yeah. nursed her it, back to health so where funny. was she when you were sick you know <laughs> staying the hell away <laughs> uh, shouldn't want that again that's right, Renata that's and Rebecca were both here we put mm -hmm. Renata we gave uh, had Rebecca up on the train we picked mm -hmm. her up Renata came up it was like oh this is great oh, and then yeah Renata's up throwing up in the middle of the night oh, man. so and then I was like I was so happy that I got to take care yes, of her you know yes and then I always feel bad because my 20 year old Keely you know just like Renata it's like she's not she's affectionate with her friends but she's very she's not so affectionate with her parents you know anymore yeah except for when she's sick and so when she's sick, it's like a sick thing in me. I actually feel like, yay. You're going to be one of good. those moon, 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 what's that word? I can never say I it. I don't know. The woman, the women, the moms that make their kids sick. Oh, just so they <laughs> Don't do that. No. But it's just funny because when she's sick, then she's so much more like, oh, mom, you know. Well, it's you because know. we all need our moms when totally, we're sick. Totally, totally. Yeah. And if you don't have your mom when you're sick, you have to be your own mom when you're sick. That's right. That's not as fun. No. <laughs> or you rely on your husband and you hope he'll take care of you. No, they do to the best of their ability. Bob's very good about it. In fact, he's way better at it than I am. When he gets sick, I'm like, 
not very sympathetic. I get annoyed, which is horrible because he's the best when I'm sick. When I'm sick, he's always like, can I get you something? No, I'll go up five times to the store and get you whatever you want. Like he's very good at that. I'm horrible. I am not a patient person. Okay, so my husband's wonderful. Yeah. Hopefully he's not in the house. Yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't watch he, he doesn't watch this. Okay, so. good. He, no, he's you, especially if you've watched his channel, yeah. you know he's a hard worker. Yes, he has yes. great integrity. Totally. He's a great guy. And he was trying his hardest to help me through this illness. Yeah, you know, yeah. like he went and got me a Gatorade. Okay. Yes. Nice. But when days later I was able to kind of start keeping a little bit of food mm -hmm, down. Mm-hmm. Pudding sounded good. Oh, yeah. Like, because it was yeah. bl kind of bland yes. and just kind of, yes. you know. So I'm like, there's just very few things that sound yes. good when, oh, you yeah. know. And um, so I asked him, you know, mm -hmm. give me some pudding. He brings home Jello. Oh, not the same. Not the same. I hate Jello. Yeah, I hate Jello. He goes, yeah, the, the uh, grocery outlet in um, Rainier didn't have pudding, so I got you Jello. <laughs> oh, I'm like, even Jello when I feel good makes me want to vomit. Right. Oh, completely, so, um, completely. <laughs> thanks. But you know. no thanks. You'll be eating this. <laughs> he did too. And then probably just sounded better to him. <laughs> Jello sounds really good. Okay, so I get sick. She had to have meant Jello. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want pudding. Uh, yeah. See, Bob's the type that I've had food poisoning twice. So I was literally sitting on the toilet doing my business and throwing that's up exactly at the same time what i was on the doing floor. yes and bob came in while i was doing it and cleaned everything oh my and gosh i was just like i was like apologizing wow. to him i was like i'm so sorry he was like honey it's okay yeah no i'm I'll throwing up into up. the garbage can no i was throwing up all over the floor like it was like <laughs> well, next so time, grab the garbage can I, I don't yeah i was so sick i wasn't even like thinking straight. i have tricks to throwing <laughs> up because um <laughs> I'm allergic. I'm really allergic to to shellfish. Oh yes, you are. But I yeah. didn't know that for a long time, and yeah. so we'd always eat crab when we took our RV to the coast. Oh my gosh! And so I was always vomiting, yeah. like violently yes. vomiting yes. on our RV trips, and so I got really good at knowing. Okay, throw up in the garbage can because yeah. then you can just take the bag out. Yeah, and, brilliant. Um, yeah. yeah, so I, I have these tricks for how to vomit in an RV. Yes, and then. Of course, we finally figured out why I was getting sick. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! Don't do that Glad anymore. Glad you solved but, that problem. Yeah. So yeah, yeah just throw throw mm -hmm. up in a garbage can. It's yeah. just I've never understood. Like movies always show this and stuff that mm -hmm. people throw up into toilets. Right. I'm not putting my face anywhere no, near a toilet. No, me either. I mean, no way. even no. when I'm cleaning the toilet, and yeah. you know, when you have to clean behind the yes. toilet, yeah. I'm like holding my oh, breath yeah. and looking away oh, yeah. and just you hoping keep your that, distance. Yeah. yeah. Nothing splatters. Ugh. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyway. I hear you. I hear you. I'm the same way. But yeah. Household tips from the naughty nitwits. That's right. That's <laughs> Just right. Just shut your eyes. Hold your breath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh hope for the goodness. best. Yeah. So. I have not. Yeah. I have not arfed in years. I can't remember the last time I did. Thank goodness. Because yeah. that's the worst. It really that's sucks. That's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> put me on a toilet anytime. But yeah. And then when you up. consider that, you know, our sleeping and living quarters are up here. Yes. And then I had to go down the oh stairs into the RV. That's so horrible. I was I slept on the couch in the R V for a couple days, which yeah. was just very uncomfortable. Oh yeah. But the bed in the R V had like blankets and stuff folded up on it mm. and i just didn't even have the energy to go wow. deal with that you know it was like i'll just stay here on the couch and oh then my gosh it, and then it just wasn't worth wow. like when i didn't need to do the other right. i could at least throw up upstairs yeah. into the garbage yeah, can exactly. but there's nothing you can do with that nope. if, yeah i've nope. got no helpful tips for how to do no. that without a toilet except for a porta potty but then that would fill up really fast yeah, so. gross, yeah. Yeah, and Bob and I just had the major cold, coughing her guts out. Which sucks. Lots of Especially mucus. the cough, it just never goes away. Oh, it never, it's still, I yeah. feel like I still, I told Bob, I said, I felt like I had tar on my throat. Because you're like trying to get it yes. up and it just sticks Sticky. to your throat. And you're just yes. like, how do I get that out? And then just always blowing your nose. Yes. And so it was just a cold, bad cold, but. So it's we've fine. talked about diarrhea. Yeah, that's right. Vomit. Vomiting. Snot. Clean toilets. Um, what else we got? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. I can't Talked think about of... nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the hers are sparkly and pink. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't oh, think we can improve on that. I don't either. I think that's, we've covered all of our bases. We have. Yeah. We have. And then some. <laughs> so Thanksgiving, you're looking forward to Thanksgiving? Or have you decided what you're going to do? <clears throat> um, we're going to go to Nick and Kim's on the Saturday after. Okay. And Rebecca's going to come up. Fun. Um, I think that day, Saturday, and then okay. I think we'll be driving her home Sunday. Okay. Or back. Oh, great news, though. I know. Well, great news in our life. 
so you know rebecca got her own room nice yeah she was going nuts okay and um i mean she was just really having a difficult time and so i told her i said well maybe you could like see if there's a waiting list in case a room comes open definitely so she put herself on this list and within a week they got her in it which i think was just luck yeah divine intervention or whatever so she has her own room now and it's um it's in a door the dorm is just honors kids whereas she was in one that was mixed which doesn't matter except that yeah i mean maybe i'm being delusional but Mm -hmm. i think typically the Mm -hmm. ones that are in the honors program probably aren't partying as much and stuff now i know rebecca's not a partier right and if you know if she did i wouldn't judge her i just right that's not what she's there to do right right um And I would probably judge her some. I'm a mom. But <laughs> well, you'd be like, you better get A still, okay? Yeah, exactly. If you're partying, you better still Don't pass. do anything I didn't do. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. We'll do um, that. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so she has her room, mm-hmm. and then there's a bathroom, mm. and then one other room. So just another room shares the bathroom, too, oh, okay. which is really oh, nice. Oh, nice, so nice. things have gotten a lot better Good. for her. How did her there. roommate take it? Was she okay? Or was nah, she... she's kind of snotty. Yeah. But yeah. They were never destined to be BFFs. Yeah. Right. You know, and so... <laughs> there's no love lost. There's really not. So <clears throat> I'm very happy for Good. her. That'll make it so much better for much her. Much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> anyway, because awesome. th- she was going to stay on campus for Thanksgiving mm-hmm. because her roommate was going to be gone. Right. And yeah. so she thought, oh, I've got to enjoy this time. Totally. Okay. Totally. Take full advantage <laughs> yes. of it. Yeah. But now that her roommate's going to, I mean, she doesn't have a roommate anymore. So now she feels mm-hmm. free to. Definitely. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. That's good. But Thanksgiving Thursday, mm-hmm. the actual day, I don't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to try to do anything. It just doesn't matter to me. I know, and we're doing it Friday just because of my sister being divorced and her boyfriend and being divorced, you know, with kids going different mm-hmm. places and stuff. I thought, you know, let's just do it Friday. I don't yeah. care. So we're going to do it Friday. But then Bob was like, I kind of miss not, and we're doing it at my sister's house because she has a big house. But Bob was like, I kind of miss not doing it at our house. And just, okay. you know, so he was like, maybe we could still do a big turkey dinner on Thursday, uh-huh. but just have it be us or whoever well i used to do big turkey dinners yeah. like everything All that, yeah just on your us. own on my that's own thing. just like, for that's us crazy it was a lot of work but yes. i didn't mind i mean yeah, because we yeah. didn't have the family right and right, so right you know and i'd probably do if i wasn't if my kitchen wasn't an rv kitchen right yeah. i'd yeah. i'd do it you know like yeah. next year i anticipate having a nice lovely kitchen yeah and I well, will. you can come to our house if oh, we do the Thursday so thing. Nice. I mean, we're still on the fence because part of me is like, do I really want to do two days of right, like in a cab- row? Yeah, in especially. a row, especially when I don't get any days off right. except for when my sister oh, gets a yeah. day off. So part of me is like, no, I just want to sleep no, in Thursday and just because you know what, you can make a turkey dinner here some other anytime. Day. Yeah, I know, but then it'd be fun to see you. But I doubt we'd drive down. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we might. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, it sounds like a nice idea, but I'm like, do I really? It's the first year I haven't hosted in years. Yeah. So it's like, oh my gosh, it's so nice to just be like, I don't have to like, but I do love decorate. I don't know. I always have a tradition. I go to Trader Joe's, get flowers. I decorate the table with the flowers. And I don't know. It's like parts of it I love yeah. doing. And it's like, it's become just a routine every year. So it's going to be weird not having that routine. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, let it go, Leslie. Just be, be thankful. That and the thing is, I mean, I know because this is a weird one for me too. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I feel bad for Renata. Well, is she coming? Where's Renata going? I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, she'll, okay. the, it's nice that we have Nick and Kim's to go right, to. So right. we at least have some kind of family connection yes, to do something. Definitely. But the actual day, I don't know if, I mean, she might be working or she might be, I don't know. Where does she, is she work? She's still at Black Bear. Okay. Are they open on Thanksgiving? Probably. I, I don't know. So? Okay. I, I don't right. know. Yeah. I don't um, know. But be. like, so this year is going to kind of suck. Mm. But I just think it's just one year. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. next year can do all those totally, things. Totally, and so, totally. And so, you know, mm-hmm. do something different. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. No, and that's good. I mean, I was thankful my sister offered to have it at her place because, you know, she's got all the kids, five kids between her and her boyfriend. Yeah, and so it's there. like she was like, you know, at our house, we've got the game system set up in the family room. The kids can go up to their rooms if Perfect. they want. And I was like, oh, I totally get Absolutely. it. And I understand completely because my house is not set up for... Teen, you know, I mean, teenagers, yes, yeah, so I have teenagers, but, well, one, but just, well, they need to be in their own them. environment. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I was like, I totally get that, and that's fine. And she's got a big house. So it's with that many people, she's thinking we might have like 25 oh, or something Lord. or 30. So yeah. it's going to be big. So I, 
it's totally fine. But I just will kind of miss yeah. the way we do things. No, I, I get you. It's like, yeah. I mean, I part of me feels that way too, but yeah. I don't really have the option. Yeah. Like, there's no way I would be doing it in our yeah. situation. Right. So That's I'm not tough. even tempted. Whereas you, right. you know, I mean, I can see where you're on the fence because. Right. Yeah. 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 So we'll but, see. Gosh, two days in a row like that. I know. And do I want to make a huge meal? I love the leftovers. And I think that's why I like to have it at my house yeah. because I always give leftovers to everybody that comes. But then we also have a lot of leftovers ourselves. And I do love that yeah. because then we eat on it for days, you yeah. know? So that's the part I'll miss. I won't have all those leftovers. So, because I don't know if my sister, there might not be leftovers. I mean, with right. that many people. Yeah. So, yeah. So mm. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> well, happy Thanksgiving or whatever mm -hmm. it is that you celebrate, if you celebrate yeah. anything yeah. in November. Yep, yep. Because <laughs> that's like a United States thing, right? I, I mean, Thanksgiving, so, yes. I don't think that everyone... I don't think everybody does. I mean, Canada has their own Thanksgiving. Yeah. And other yeah, places. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be like the whole pilgrim yeah thing i don't know yeah i, think I mean let's go thing. way back into right. our the recesses of our brain mm -hmm. and what was at the root of this yeah 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 so eat good food be thankful for your food i mean what you can do that anywhere yeah so any time of year i yeah. say wherever you are just have a good meal that day. Oh, but that's what we always say every Thanksgiving. I remember that we always say, just eat good food. You know, <laughs> whatever you're eating, enjoy. Okay, so we're consistent. That's right. We're consistent it, it's every not, year. It's, it's same not thing, that we're story. scripted and boring. No. It's that we just we can't reinvent things. We feel very things. strongly about eating good food. We just, <laughs> we might be a little hungry right so now. So fault us, okay? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I think we say that every time too. <laughs> now that it's such a commute to get it's together, true. Yeah, we're hungry. It's true. We're hungry. 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 We're we could be. Yeah. That sounds like a good time. We're going to work on it. We, it's our goal. We have a common goal. We're going to stay healthy so that we can do this. Because we were doing very well every two weeks. We were doing great. And now great. it's just with a cold threw us off. And then you, you know you throw the holidays in mm -hmm. and who knows what's going to happen. I know. I mean we don't have anything going on but <laughs> you might. <laughs> you might have better things to do than to watch a two hour almost two hour podcast. Yeah. Oh no they don't. They don't have anything you. going on. Oh me? <laughs> no. They can watch us when they want. That's true. Five minute that's increments true. while they're in the bathroom that's for the next month. That's that right. can be you know. That's right. Yeah. That's true. Please take us to the bathroom with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we belong sometimes. <laughs> I mean, just because we talked about or the gutter, bathroom whatever, so much yeah. this oh, episode. Yeah, I know. It just seemed to be. Yes. Well, it is cold and flu season, so, you know, yeah. it's it's relevant to everybody's life right now. That's so right. Trying I, to stay healthy. And yeah, and I washed my hands a lot. I, I mean, yeah. obviously, it was just Renata. Oh, yeah, I think just being around the kids, like, the, these last two weeks, it's oh, like, yeah. you know, re reintroducing myself to daily germs. Oh, every time we're around <clears throat> the grandkids, we get oh, sick. Oh, totally, Yeah, totally. it's just the way it is. Just a yeah. cold. Yes. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was down in kombucha like crazy every single day, and I think it definitely helped, because at first I was sick, and I wasn't... See, that would like make I, me vomit. Oh, I love that stuff. But I didn't think I was getting better. I was like, oh, my gosh, I feel like it's just morphing you know sometimes are changing and then finally I was like oh I used to drink kombucha all the time I should go get yeah. some so I got some and then I felt like I was finally like uh -huh. okay I'm getting on top of this thing and good so, for you yeah, yeah no yeah. I'd barf with that up <laughs> well then don't drink it please <laughs> no. you've had enough barf for yeah, the year exactly. you don't need any more barf going on yeah. uh, all right well I think that's it I don't I don't I so. remember anything else at the moment yeah, as much as so. I'm looking around at the table I know and you're okay. desperate for something yeah I think that's because it. Because we always remember something after. Of course. Like, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, that's how our minds work. <laughs> <laughs> we always have things to talk about. Daylight and a dollar short. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay, well, have a good time. Yes, happy knitting. Happy knitting. Check out those Abby Knits. Yes, patterns. We're, we're so unsuccessful at knit alongs. I really would like to do one okay, well. Okay, we're going to conquer this. <laughs> we're going to do we it. We are. It's going to happen. Do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. I will be picking out. I think I'll probably do the cozy. You'll do the cozy. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Nice Take to see care. you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> the big long the big reach. reach.